What's happening? Mike Schmidt, 40 year old boy podcast. It is 11 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday night. I should be recording this show in a warm, comfortable building, perhaps the oldest building in Hollywood, but unfortunately, I am sitting in my Murano on a street in fucking Venice Beach outside of a restaurant where I work because things have gone terribly awry in my life. Uh, so, guess what? We've got an experiment this week. We're going to try to upload a bunch of videos of me fucking talking and see how it works. Uh, I have no idea if it's going to work well. And, I don't, and by the way, we is a very strong term because it's just going to be fucking me. Uh, Mex and I decided to do this because unfortunately, uh, I, well, look, I'll explain this through the other videos. Just, just know that there's going to be a fucking shitload of these. And that's a, and that's a technical term, by the way, shitload. Um... And there's no new takes, there's no edits, there's no anything. It's just going to be fucking unvarnished Mike this week, coming at you in fucking small bites. And that's, that's bad. I'm not a tapas guy. You, you don't want me, you don't want tapas Schmidt. Nobody wants small plates of Schmidt. I'm not a canapes guy. I'm a fucking meal. I'm a bowl of goddamn stew. I'm a fucking rib roast. That's who I am. I'm a crowd rib roast. With those fucking bones Frenched and the fucking little feet on there when they put the little hats on them. That's who I am, goddammit. I'm not a fucking bowl of, of nonsense. I'm not a fucking little jello cube. I'm not fucking some guy walking around with toothpicks and saying, hey, would you guys like some of this fucking quiche? Fuck quiche and fuck that guy. I don't like him. I'm not a fan. I don't know who the fuck he is. Why does he think he can go around and pass out fucking platefuls of me? I don't know. Forget him. Uh, all right, there you go. That's This is going to be fucking weird, right? This is going to be pretty fucking weird. Um, and I also don't know if you'll ever see me because you guys aren't used to seeing me. And who, who wants to, because I one time we put a video of me talking up and uh, it did not go well. It went fucking weird because people were like, dude, I don't like seeing you talk. Uh, and I can't blame you. But, and especially, it's going to be weirder now, because I'm going to be, like, in my house, and I'm going to be fucking driving, and uh, it's just going to be strange. All right, well, this is two minutes. Look at this. Look at the two minutes of fun we had. I didn't even think this was going to be able to happen. I'm like, fuck, I can't even get through this. I've gotten through two solid minutes of this now. I was going to say comedy, and then I thought to myself, you know what, dude? This is absolutely not comedy. Do not say two solid minutes of comedy. You got through two solid minutes of fucking talking, sitting in a goddamn car. Uh, I, you know what I feel like? You ever see it in Boogie Nights when Thomas Jane goes, you know, we want what's in the fucking floor in the goddamn floor safe. We don't need the fucking mattress. That's who I sound like right now because my voice is burnt. I'm fried. I, I just worked fucking 12 hours because I'm a fucking failure. A failure. I should be fucking doing this show and that's what I should be doing. But no, instead I'm bringing coastal to fucking strangers and it costs me this opportunity. Fuck! This is going to be a real test of your fucking patience. I can tell right now because in my head I was like, because I have to call Mex, all right? And I got to talk to him about some stuff because we're fucking figuring out the artwork and what we're going to do. And I have ideas and plans, but dude, it's fucking, here, look. It's fucking, well, first of all, it's 56 degrees outside. And I know in the Midwest you don't give a fuck about that because that's like 100 times warmer than it is by you. But it's 11 o'clock at night. So in Mex's town, in Mex's town, that's where he lives, in Mex's town. He's in a saloon with swinging doors. He's waiting for fucking Doc to come back and give him the report from the fucking Bighorn Sheep Farm. Uh, where Mex lives, which is the Midwest, it's fucking one. So he's hatching and conspiring to do this with me, but I gotta fucking get him on the line. So I have to call him, right? So, but I thought I would miss prime recording time with you guys in the car. Although I guess I just recorded in the car because I was gonna drive. Here, let's, let's, just, let's just fucking drive. Because that's safe. All right, we are leaving Venice. Uh, and we are driving now, and I have to get on the freeway and fucking get home. It's 20 miles from here, and I may record again while I'm driving. But also, you know what? i got to stop at the grocery store. Should I record at Ralph's? This is a live remote, folks. This is what we're doing. You know who I am? I'm like a fucking pirate radio DJ, and I'm taking you guys out on the road. That's what we're having. That's what's happening this week. We're going out on the road. We're not trapped. We're not tagged, like stuck in a fucking office chair in the oldest building in Hollywood. We are out and about in a Nissan Murano, and we are cleaning house on fucking Lincoln Boulevard in Venice, California. There's a Whole Foods. See that green sign? It's blurry. That's my finger. My finger in the foreground looks kind of like a fucking, oh, like, dude, it's like a big fucking shark. It's not a shark. It's a fucking finger. All right. Uh, green light. We're driving. I'm trying to pay attention to the goddamn road. And by the way, bail now because it's going to be this. It's I'm planning on doing 
a bunch of these. I said, I told Max, I go, well, I could probably do like 10 or 15 of them. And he's like, how long would they be? I said, I don't know, two minutes, because I don't know how long it takes to upload to Facebook. Uh, because we're putting these on Facebook. I can't put them on YouTube. Oh my God, are my lights on? They're not. Hey, guess what, folks? I didn't have my headlights on in the middle of the night. I would have got pulled over and I'm making fucking videos for you guys. And he would have been like, what's going on? I said, dude, I have to get a message to the inner circle because I'm unfortunately unable to go to my friend Lily's house and record my podcast. And the cops is going to go get out of the fucking car and pistol whip me. But luckily, I'll tape it. And then I will be able to say in six months, can't we all just get along when everybody is found innocent? Because that's exactly what will happen. Because you know what, folks? You can take a shot in fucking California from a cop and he's going to get away with it. And that's okay. I'm fine with that. You know why? Because I'm not a scofflaw. Any of you villains out there, be prepared to take a beating. Uh, God damn it. It's, you know, it's scary when I don't know what I'm going to say or where I'm going to go. And, and so I just, I think I just advocated police brutality. Is that what I did? That's, that's a bee I got to get out of my hive. Because the bees are unleashed today and they're on the road. We've taken the bees on the road. The swarm is in the car and fucking moving. And, uh, and one of them just advocated police brutality. That's bad. You know, that, that was a 46-year-old bee. Because I don't think that I, I mean, I am 46, but I don't act 46. Uh, but there's a bee in me right now who's got some sort of Republican tendencies and is all over police brutality as a possible uh, uh, solution to everything. I don't like that bee. I got to find it. All right, you guys missed the exciting drive on the 405, but we are now on the 101 freeway. Uh, I'm getting over. I'm trying not to kill anybody. Buddy. And trying not to be killed either. I mean, uh, this is, I can't give away my address. I guess I could. We're going to stop this and take frames and shit like that. But not that you care. Who the fuck cares? I'll tell you what, after watching this stuff, you're never going to want to come to my house. You're going to be like, dude, what, why the fuck would I want to hang out with that guy? Jesus Christ. I hated him in two and a half minute bites. Now I'm going to go spend an afternoon with the motherfucker? I don't think so. Uh, let me tell you this. My voice, well, first of all, there's a reason why I have to do this this week. Uh, I got scheduled to work. And I've been juggling a lot of days off and figuring things out and moving. And, and so I could not get out of it. I tried to get people to cover. I told them, I go, look, because I, I tell them all the time I can't work Wednesday. But because it was New Year's Day, they used the phrase, all hands on deck. And I'm not in a position to say no right now because, as most of you know, I would have normally just walked the fuck out and said, yeah, I don't think so. But I, uh, because I've unfortunately painted myself in a corner where I need to bring strangers some sort of barbecue sauce, I had to do it. So... I made arrangements with work yesterday. I said, listen, I will work late tonight if I can leave early tomorrow. They said, yes, no problem. And then today was a fucking delivery holocaust. I, I mean, it was just insane. I got to work at 11 this morning, and I'm leaving now, like you say, it's 11.40, so I'm in the car. I was there, I was there almost 12 hours. I worked 11 hours, 11.45, whatever the fuck. And, uh, and it's funny, you hear my voice. Uh, you know, normally, normally, listen, you hear the dulcet tones of Mike Schmidt and you're like, God, that guy sounds amazing. Well, there might be a crack here and there, and there might be some sort of squeaky tone to me this week. Uh, and here's why. This is completely true. Once I realized I wasn't getting out of there early, I was on a delivery and I was in front of this person's house. And I'm sitting in my car, and I had two deliveries in my car, and there were still three waiting at the store. And I just knew I was supposed to be at Lily's house. Uh, and I'll, t I'll get to why Lily can't do it in a minute. Hold on, we're going to merge. Not going to slow down because this motherfucker. Um, but Lily couldn't do the show, you know, whatever the fuck, I'll explain that. But, uh, but I'm outside this person's house, and I deliver their food, and I get in the car, and, it, and I, I realize that I'm not going to be able to do my show, or I'm not going to be able to get to where I want to be, so it's like i got to ask Lily a favor, and I, it's just a fucking mess. And at the top of my fucking lungs, I just screamed fuck, like as loud as I could. And I, I want to do it here. Uh, I don't think I should because it will be fucking loud and crazy and, I, and, and if you're watching this at work or whatever the fuck it will be loud but I mean but I mean and I did it I held it for like 20 seconds just like uh, you know what fuck it I'm just gonna do it fuck um, it was like that but longer and then I did it three times three times and uh, oh hold on I don't know if Facebook looked me to video at least three times I did it I screamed fuck at the top of my lungs and I'm in my car. All the windows are up, okay? But I screamed because I was so furious and I was so frustrated and there was nothing I could fucking do and I knew it. I knew it. Um, it's New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So Lily has plans. Uh, Tuesday, you know, Monday night she can't do it because she got the tease. Uh, and it's not her fault. This isn't her fault. It's, it's my fault because I got scheduled for fucking Wednesday and I tried to get out of it and couldn't. It's my fault because I don't have a fucking regular job where I can just go ahead and have normal hours. It's, not, it's my fault because I, I'm not independently wealthy and I, sh I should be just doing this fucking show. It's my fault. Completely. Utterly. Um, but Lily couldn't do it on Tuesday. She had plans in the daytime and then she had plans last night for New Year's Eve. 
And I said, all right, well, how about Thursday? What if we just did Thursday like Wednesday and we'll put the show up a day later? And she said, no, I have plans on Thursday too. So she's got a thing in the morning on Thursday, a thing in the afternoon on Thursday, and then all day Tuesday. And so she had today. And I couldn't. And I said, well, I need a favor. I need you to do it late. And she's like, you know what? I did last week's late. And I said, I understand and I appreciate it. She goes, but I have to be up super early for my thing on Thursday. I said, look, here's the thing. I will be at your house at 10 o'clock p.m. I will be there at 10 o'clock at the latest. And I will come in and we won't talk. I will just fucking rampage through it for an hour. And she's like, all right. And I go, and I'll tell you what. I will send you a backup episode just in case. I will send you an episode. Oh, fuck. I was going to go to Ralph's. God damn it. I was going to the grocery store. Um, this is so bad. Uh... So I told her, I said, you know what, I will send you a backup episode. She said, fine. Well, uh, here's what Mike does. Mike doesn't send a backup episode because Mike makes arrangements with work and figures that he's going to be off and it's not going to be a problem and I'll be able to take off and do a fucking show. And I'm going to be honest with you, I wanted to do a regular fucking show this week. I want to do a regular fucking show all the time. I would love to do one every fucking day, but I don't and I can't. Uh, but I wanted to do one this week because I had, I had a fucking huge weekend. So I wanted to talk about that. I had stories to tell. Stories to tell, folks. Um... So I told Lily I could be at her place no later than 10. So all of a sudden it was like fucking 945. I'm still in my car and I knew I had at least an hour's worth of work ahead of me. And I'm like, so I had to text her and go, look, I can't, I can't be at your house till 1030. I said, so either, either we do it or you call it. It's fine. And, and she's sick too. She's sick. She's got plans. It's just a million different fucking things that, that all got, it was just a confluence of events. And it leads to me being in the car filming for you guys. Um, because I was, I, you know, I just, I can't, I wasn't going to just put up a rerun. I thought about it, but then I said no, and then Dave was just like, well, what do you think we should do? And, and he and I hatched this plan. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's easier for Dave and I to hatch this plan, because Dave doesn't have to, do, to really do it. Dave doesn't have to talk into the phone for fucking two minute bites, but Dave has to do all the artwork and all this other shit that he's doing. And we have other ideas, like, I will tell you this, uh, he may have done, well, I don't know, I, I don't want to say it, because he might not have done it, I might not put it up yet. It might be a coming video, who knows? But I'm on the phone with him. Like I said, it's fucking 11.45 here. It's, it's fucking almost 2 in the morning there. That guy's got a family. So now I'm dragging him out into the... Oh, it's fucking 3 minutes. God high. damn it. Uh, so we're still driving. We're going to the grocery store. Fuck it. I need bananas. You guys are coming with me to buy bananas. That's, this is what this technology has wrought. I, I said once before, there's no greater use of podcasting technology than describing old Kojak episodes from the 70s. I, I have to amend that. I have to change it. God, you hear my voice? I fried it by screaming. <clears throat> Uh, I amend that because there is no greater use of this technology than me taking 20,000 people with me to go buy bananas. It's like, remember how Andy Kaufman did a concert and then he took everybody across the street for milk and cookies like he had buses and all that shit? Well, fuck that. That's amateur night because he might have had 1,000 people. I got at least 20,000 of you people who are going with me for fucking bananas now at the grocery store. Aren't you proud? Aren't you proud to be part of this experiment? <laughs> this is where this medium has gone. We are doing a handheld fucking podcast in sound bites as we go buy bananas together as a group. The inner circle, all of you, the Westside 86 Jokers, the fan club, anybody who listens, anybody who's ever laughed, all of you right now are spiritually, physically going with me to go buy bananas. Should I turn here? I should turn here on Colfax, right? Yeah. No, I'll, no, I got to turn up on Tonga. I'm giving you addresses. You know where I live now, goddammit. Uh, that was a Taco Bell on Colfax. There was a Yum Yum Donuts. But we're going to turn on Tahunga, which is up here. I'm not going to take the freeway because I was just on the freeway. You guys want to see the freeway? You want to see more cement and, and fucking trees, right? Isn't that what you want? Um, I can already tell this entire fucking thing is going to be me getting to the three-minute mark and just yelling fuck because I don't know how long they're going to... Because, dude, I'll tell you what. I haven't even tried to fucking put these up yet. I, and I haven't even tried to build the Facebook page. I haven't done any of it. Because I'm. this was an idea I hatched at the fucking barbecue house, and I talked to Mex about it on the fucking phone. So I haven't built the Facebook page in fucking, you know, five years or whatever the fuck. So when I get home, I'm going to try to build a page so we can call it the episode page. And uh, fuck me, if they, if they tell me no, then I'm fucked. And, and even worse, I'm going to have all of this shit on my phone and, and for no reason. Now I just look like a crazy person. If I, What if I don't... Oh, there's the YMCA. It's fun to stay there. Um, what, what if I don't get to put these up, then I'm just like a fucking psychopath. I've got like fucking 45 minutes of me talking into my phone to nobody. God damn it. This will be like the lost episodes. This is the treasure. Hey, that guy's got taillights on. I should probably slow down. All right, let's slow down, folks. I should pay attention. Oh, now he's driving. Now you're driving, you fuck. Yeah, you saw me recording. You're like, oh, man, I better get out of the way because I don't want to get on tape and I don't want people to see my fucking license plate number because I don't know how to fucking park or drive. Get the fuck out of the way. See, folks, that's me putting on a little show for you. I don't really have road rage. Thank you, sir. Get out of the way. Hi. Merry, happy new year. I was going to say, Merry, happy new year. Merry new year. Uh, want some beef jerky? 
Ha, there's plenty you know. All right, so we're going straight here. We're not turning left. Do I have to? No, straight. Oh, no, I am turning left. Jesus Christ. It's a soft left, though. I don't want to go hard left, folks. We go soft left. I don't go ciabatta left. I go, uh, I go potato roll left because that's the difference between hard and soft. I, you know what? I don't go 20-year-old. Uh, I, go, I go fucking 60-year-old. That's right. I go soft. All right, so now we're going this way. Uh, and, uh, three, three minutes. Dudes, if Facebook doesn't let me put up those three-minute clips, it's just going to be so bad. I'm going to call Zuckerberg. You think he's up? It's like 11.45 West Coast time. Where does he live? Does he even live anywhere? He might just exist on a different plane. Like, has he built his own universe at this point? That guy's got so much fucking money. Uh, him and the fucking Winklevoss twins at odds. Just fighting on with p pillow cases full of cash. <laughs> Dude, how would you like to have a pillow fight, but the pillows are full of cash? Oh, I guess cash is heavier than pillows. All right. Uh, that's another thing, too. When I'm with Lily, I can talk into these weird tangents and sometimes I'll get lost and I'll go, all right, hold on. And then I'll, I'll stop and then we'll have to restart. I can't stop and restart on this fucking thing. Hold on, I think we gotta turn here. What road is this? Is this, this is the road. Hang on, we're going right. And that's a hard right. Uh, but I can't stop and edit these. I can't, you know, I, and part of me was like, I should just put all these into GarageBand. And literally, I had this idea because I go, yeah, I'll do all these fucking videos, and then I'll put them into GarageBand. And I'll put them on YouTube, and then <laughs> I'm not kidding. I even went to myself and go, Oh, by the way, um, you don't know how to use GarageBand, idiot. Why the fuck are you having this idea? And then I thought, Is there anybody I know that knows how to use GarageBand and would be up this late and could help me out? Because that's the thing. Even if they're up now, I'm not even gonna be done with these fucking things till two or three in the morning. So who the fuck knows when they're going to be done, and then they're going to have to edit them? Because I don't know, garage, I, stupid me, I think GarageBand is just like magic. Like I just put a bunch of shit in, and it's all, yellow lights, hold on, caution. Yellow means caution, red means stop. Uh, so I, I just thought I could put everything in GarageBand, and it would churn out a giant fucking product. But I mean, I don't, I don't think that's the case. Uh, at least I, I hope not. I mean, I hope it wasn't that easy. Because if that was the case, then I should have been doing it fucking forever, right? Shouldn't I have been doing this forever? And I, know, I can hear you all scream in unison, No! Don't ever do this again! This is bullshit soundbite nonsense, and you're driving around for fucking no reason. I know, I didn't have to put this up. But, I feel fucking terrible. I, and I won't lie to you, alright? Once Lily and I, once it was established that we couldn't do the show, and I was screaming fuck at the top of my lungs in my car, and I was so pissed and frustrated, here were my options. I, I thought of this idea, which we're executing right now. Hold on, we're at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I don't want to go to 3 minutes again. Hold on, yellow means uh, caution, red means stop. And I know you're thinking, don't you have to have your hands at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock? I do. Right now I've got one hand at 7 o'clock, I think. Is that where that is? Yeah, my hand's... Oh, look at that hand. Yeah, that's right. That's fucking vascular and yoked. Um, that's right, my hands are yoked. <laughs> I use them quite a bit, folks. Um, 11.50. I, now I'm like a radio guy. 11.50. Let's check the weather together at the zeros. Um, all right, these guys are turning, and then I'm turning, and we're going in here, and you're going to say, whoa, dude, are you on a right aid? Because you're going to see the sign right there that says right aid. No... We're going to Ralph's, which is in the distance, because we need fucking bananas. All right, I'm debating bringing you guys into Bananaville, um, which I call Ralph's. Apparently, I call it Bananaville. I just I just created that name right now. Watch how good I am at parking, folks. Look at this sliding in, parking, and straightening it out, and there we are. Um, but I mean, you want to go into Ralph's with me, do you? Right? Don't you? I guess you don't. I mean, you don't even want to be here with me. I, I don't even want to be here with me, quite frankly. I'd rather be home. I want. I got shit to do. No, I don't. I have nothing to do. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm just, I'm burnt. Man, it was a whirlwind weekend. I was on planes, and I was in the cold, and, uh... I, but I don't want to, I don't want to tell you about it in two-minute bites. I don't want to tell you about it in two-minute increments. Uh, some of you might know, and some of you might not know. Um, I went to the Bears game this weekend. But, I mean, I don't want to talk about it. There's no point. It's just silly. Because, I mean, uh... Why would I ever tell you anything of substance when I could bring you into a store and buy fucking bananas? <laughs> oh, what a fucking idiot. All right. Um, so the ideas I had were to do this. This, you know, Facebook minutes. You know, uh, hold on. Let's do this real quick. Hi. It was, I don't know if you can see my whole face or my eyes. Well, wait a minute. The, can you see anything? Let's go sideways. There's my fucking giant forehead. There's my face, I think. There's the mirror. Um, my idea was to do this, which would be the bite size, fun size podcasts. All these fucking three minute podcasts, mini podcasts, if you will. Um, mini casts, mini sodes. I don't fucking know. I'm trying to invent bullshit that doesn't exist. Um, I was going to do these. 
which I obviously you see I've decided that this is the way to go because the other idea I had was a non-starter. But I was so fucking pissed off that I wasn't going to be able to do a show. I was so mad because, I mean, I've done shows. I mean, it's been six years, and I've done a show every fucking week. I mean, granted, we put up clip shows one week. You know, dude, I had swine flu, and I was off. But one week, Lily was so sick, I couldn't go record. So we just put up a rerun, and we called it rerun, and we made it happen. But I've already done a couple of clip shows this year, and I just and I wanted to talk about the game, and I, I had all sorts of stuff. That's why I made the arrangement with Lily. Um, so I was so pissed that I wasn't going to be able to do a show. Uh, this is what I was going to do, seriously. I was either, there were two things. One, I was going to tell you, if you sent me your phone number, I would call you, and I would talk to you for 10 minutes. Um, but do you know how hard it would be for me to talk to 20,000 people for 10 minutes at a crack? I mean, I could do all the talking, that's fine, I could pull that off, but I, I know, I'm not saying everybody would respond, who the fuck knows. But, uh, it was either that, or you, either you email me your phone number, and I would call you and we would talk, or I was just going to put my fucking phone number up on Facebook and on, and on the Westside 86 Jokers fan club page and just go call me. You want a podcast this week, call me and I'll fucking talk to you. And I know right now you're all thinking to yourselves, boy, I wish he would have done that because uh, I would have had the option of not having to fucking talk to him. <laughs> all right, hold on. I, you have to hear this. Hold on, listen. Can you hear tubular bells by The Exorcist? It's not exactly by The Exorcist. That seems stupid, yes. Father Karras cut this song. It was just before he went in and he got the devil out of Regan's body. Reagan? Regan? Regan. Yeah, I, I swear to God, I just heard two good bells. All right. It was in my brain. Maybe you'll be able to hear it. Analyze this tape like it's a Spruder film. Uh, you know what? I spared you guys the trip in to get bananas, and here's why. Because it dawned on me that if I were to bring you in to buy bananas and take you to the store, I mean, that's okay, and it's fine. I don't think it's going to be fun or interesting for anybody. It's just me buying fucking bananas. Wait, it's back. Listen. I'm not crazy, right? You can hear that. Or can you just hear my car? Is that in my car? What if it's in my car? All right, I just turned my car off. All right, then my car started. Dude, fucking tubular bells. That's haunting. Do you know that song is like 27 minutes long? It was longer than an actual exorcism, that fucking song. Um, so I spared you... Hold on, there's words we got to get rid of. Let's push a button and make the words disappear. There they go. Um, I spared you the banana thing, because if I brought you in... And look, there's nothing wrong with bringing 20,000 people in to buy bananas. That's fine. We're all part of this together. But there are some people who aren't in the inner circle. There aren't some people who don't know that when they see me, they're supposed to wink. Uh, and those people are shopping at fucking midnight and just want to buy some groceries and get the fuck out of the store. And if I walk in with a handheld device and I start taping it and talking and looking at people, I mean, I'm just a, a dick at that point. I mean, I'm a dick anyway. But then they're going to think that I'm just a complete jagoff who showed up and started to film people in the produce section. Nobody wants to have that fucking happen. It feels like I've said this already. I may have. I don't know. Um... Unfortunately, I don't have anybody here with a legal pad to hold it up and go, guess what? You talked about this dumb fuck. Um, but I will show you this. All right, so I bought bananas, and I bought these right here. As you can, can you see them? Here, we'll do this. Look at that. All right, there's the bananas. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, Mike, why the fuck do you have your bananas in your front seat like a fucking hobo? Well, it's because apparently plastic bags are outlawed now in California as of today, January 1st. And, uh, and here's my favorite thing. They're like, oh, yeah, we, we can no longer by law carry plastic bags, but you can buy paper bags for 10 cents a bag. That just sounds like a rape, doesn't it? I mean, that's just like them going, oh, gee, shucks, we can't give you plastic bags anymore for free. The things that we used to supply and provide you with so you could go ahead and take your groceries. Because I know they're not going to drop the fucking grocery prices, right? It's just like when I said Snickers cut some fucking chocolate out. Oh, and dude, there's another fucking scam afoot. Get this. Fucking unbelievable. Wait a minute, three minutes. No, not three minutes yet. Can I squeeze this in? I don't know. All right, now there's 10 seconds. Now I definitely can't squeeze it in. Well, there's eight seconds. Oh, Jesus Christ, six seconds? There's no way I can fucking squeeze this in. There's only three seconds left. All right, here's the deal. First of all, yeah, look at the fucking bananas. So I had to carry them out. I had to walk out carrying my bananas like I was running, like I was the Heisman Trophy statue. I'm just getting tucked under my arm and sprinted out like OJ in a fucking airport. Um, so, so I, uh, what was I talking about? Paper bags, right? Plastic bags? Oh, scams. All right, so, dude, Bananas and yogurt. That's where I'm at. That's what I buy. That's what I like. And I, what do I like? I like Chobani. You know that. That's my yogurt of choice. This is boring. This is stagnant. I'm going to float around here. If I did this. <laughs> hey, see? That's my panoramic view. That'll get you on board. Um, no, fucking... So Chobani, here's what they did. 
they have this packaging, and they're like, hey, check out our brand new, fresh new packaging, yay. And I did check out their packaging, and you know what I really looked at in their packaging? Uh, the amount of yogurt that is now in the container. Because in their dreary old packaging, uh, they were forced to include six ounces of yogurt in the container. Well, now with their brand new, fresh packaging, they're only eligible to put, eligible, they're only liable, liable, they only have to put 5.3 ounces of yogurt in there. So that's how fresh and hip and new that packaging is. It's allowed them to save 0.7 ounces in every single container of yogurt. So they've basically decreased the amount of yogurt you can buy by a sixth, but they haven't changed the price one fucking cent. So literally, literally they've cut their product one sixth. They've cut one sixth of their product out completely. And they've tried to bill it with like this fresh new packaging. I got news for you. If I'm eating yogurt, I don't need fresh new fucking packaging. You know what I need? Fucking yogurt. That's what I need. I bought yogurt. I didn't buy a carrying case that happened to have fucking yogurt in it. Nobody's washing the fucking container and going, oh, I can't wait to reuse these. Fuck that, Chabani. That's not a carrying. You're not selling luggage, motherfucker. You're a, you're a yogurt company. You are not a fucking luggage company. There is not a commercial where a gorilla is banging your fucking yogurt up against the wall to show you how durable it is. No. People want to eat the yogurt. Nobody gives a fuck about the fresh new packaging in the carrying case. And I know this is just a scam to try to trick us and not let us know that you cut one-sixth of the fucking yogurt out and you're going to try to make so much money. And this is after you tried to kill us. Months ago, Chibani, you tried to fucking kill us. Do you remember that? Because I remember it, goddammit. I'm just hardier stock than most and I didn't fucking care because I like your product. So I plunged forward into the abyss and decided if I'm going to die, I'm going to die with Chibani in my veins. Which is probably a weird way place to put it. I should put it in my stomach. If I put Chibani in my veins, I'm definitely going to die. But that's the problem. That's how much I like it. I get a fucking spoon and I bend it and I tie off and I cook it up and I shoot yogurt right into my fucking arm. And I was a loyal customer, goddammit. I was there for you. But now, you fucked me. Because now you're trying to sell me window dressing. You're trying to sell me fucking cups of luggage. And goddammit, I'm not buying All right, the bees are back on the road. Um, it's funny. When I called, when I talked to Mex about this, and the idea, oh, wait. Yeah, my lights were not on again. Let's turn those on. Uh, when I was talking to Mex about this idea, he and I have two very different, like, takes on what this should be. Because I just wanted to do an episode, a straightforward episode, which is basically what I've done so far. Uh, because that's what I do, is I just talk, and I talk downhill. So I was like, dude, it'll be, a, it'll be a linear episode. There might be 30 little movies, but they'll all be two minutes long, and then it's an hour, and then it'll be an episode. Uh, I said, but I don't think I'm going to tell the bear story. I don't want to talk about the game. And he goes, well, no, you shouldn't do that. I said, well, I understand. I, I'd rather sit and tell the story. He goes, no, you should just do, dude, take this opportunity to do whatever the fuck you want. Like, film a bunch of crazy shit. Like, film yourself taking a shower. He didn't say taking a shower, but he was like, you know, just dude. He was like, do all this different stuff. And I mean, I'm, 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 uh, how do I put this? I'm a chicken. Because I don't want to fucking do that shit. Because what if it turns out to be bad? Not that this is good. Believe me, not that this is good. But at least I know this is my comfort level and I can fucking do this. Uh, it's like if you were to take a, a picture and you're like, hey, dude, go out and throw a whole game left-handed. Uh, and he's right-handed. I should have mentioned that. That picture's right-handed in that analogy. Because if he was a left-handed pitcher and he said, dude, go throw a whole game left-handed, he'd go, okay, and then he would throw an entire game left-handed and nobody would be the wiser. Nobody would care. But if you took a righty and you said, dude, go be a fucking southpaw for a while, he wouldn't know what the fuck to do. And that's kind of where I'm at. You know what I mean? As I'm sitting here talking to a phone and staring, and the phone is dying, by the way. That's another thing. We're going to run into that later on. Uh, I'm going to have to charge this phone. This is going to take fucking forever. But, and also, i got to upload all these. I have no idea if Facebook's going to let it happen, as I've talked to you about earlier, folks. Is this my turn? I think this is my turn, right? Is this Riverside? I can't. I have to squint. Hold on. Riverside. You know what's funny? You know what? Up the street here, there's an adult bookstore. I wonder if I could... Nah, they would never let me film in there. Like, when I could walk in... Nah, fuck that. I mean, there'd just be... Because it would be gay Vietnam, and I'd bring a fucking camera in and start filming dudes, they'd be pissed. That's all I need. They get hit on the head and you never see me again, and you just find these... Dude, we almost... Uh, you know what? Maybe that's a good plan. This would be like my own little personal Blair Witch. Like, I'm fucking filming, and then all of a sudden I wind up at the... Oh, wait, my hand is back. Yeah, look at it. Vascular yoked. Um, if I went to an adult bookstore filming, and then all of a sudden I just get hit in the head and this falls down, and then you look up and there's a guy standing in the corner, but he's getting blown rather than getting killed by the fucking Blair Witch. Uh, God damn it, that's a good idea. That film that movie. Is that, that, that would be a porn. I know they already made, like, the Blair Bitch Project, because I saw it, but it wasn't real real porn. It was one of those fucking softcore Skinamax movies. Uh, and by the way, I hate saying Skinamax. Why did I say that? Because I'm talking at the speed of my head, and that's what fucking popped in there. Um, I have no filter. There's nothing I can do about it. This is unfortunately the only thing that's going to come flying out of me, and I wish I could stop it, but I can't, because I'm trying to go ahead and film all this time on my goddamn phone as I hold it up here, and I, oh, hold on, red means stop. All right, taking a soft left. 
So yeah, Max was like, because oh, I'm in the yard. Fuck you. I'm sorry. It's just late and I'm screaming. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, this will be a 40-year-old boy uh, landmark. We can do this. We're driving down Riverside right now. We're coming to a stoplight. As you know, red means stop. That would be the name of the episode this week, if, by the way, we were naming it. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do. I, I still don't know if I can get these up on Facebook. i got to stop saying that to you. You don't care. Uh, because I, the thing is, if I never get them up, you'll never know. So why the fuck am I saying it over and over? You're just going to see if it happens or it doesn't happen. And this also, this might be like a weird vertigo thing for you guys as I drive while I talk. Because, I mean, you're, if you're watching, maybe you're not even watching the video. Maybe you're just, you know what, plug in your earbuds and just listen again. Then it's like the show itself. Um, but, yeah, Max is... Max is clear. All right, so you see that? All the Christmas lights. I'm oh, yawning again. Fuck. Um, those Christmas lights. That's a Mediterranean restaurant, and that was there. There was a shooting there, like fucking two years ago. I talked about it on the air, and the reason I was able to talk about it was because I worked in Graveyardville at the time, and I said it was right up the street. Well, guess where we're going? We're gonna go right past Graveyardville as we drive right now. There's a green light, and as we all know, green means. I let you all say it yourself. You finish the sentence out loud. Because that's what we do. We do call and response. All right, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to open my window. I'm going to hold my phone out. Nobody's coming. But we're driving now. We're on Riverside Drive in, uh, in a town that I won't name. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, so look. You see this building here? It's like... As you can see on the awning, uh, that was Graveyardville, right in that apartment building. That was where I pressed the Dracula button. That was where uh, a hobo came and it was all bloody. That was where the guys came with the repo truck. That was where I delivered newspapers and I hit a woman in the chest. Good times in this building, folks, right here. A lot of guys driving by. I used to walk out in the middle of the night sometimes when I was like kind of fucking sleepy, and I'd stand in the street and I'd pretend that I'd wait and face down a car. Hold on, this guy's gonna come by. Let's see how close he is. Fairly close. I'm in the middle of the road. I forget. Um, so yeah, there's the Villa Fontaine Apartments, which is now managed by some fucking management company, and they kicked me out and fired me while I was in St. Louis. You guys know all that. Uh, but there you go. Part of the 40-year-old boy. Oh look, can you see the palm trees with the star between them? There's a star. You can sort of see it. The palm trees, maybe. Fuck. I need a light. I need a light. I need to bathe this neighborhood in light so I can film a fucking two-minute segment. Um, I need to get a, a permit. I need to fucking contact the uh, the city. Try to get a permit to film this. Oh my god, what if they busted me? They saw this on Facebook. They're like, take it down. You didn't get a permit to film any of this stuff. Um, and honestly, then they would watch part of it and they go, you know what, it's good. Go ahead and keep it up because nobody's going to fucking watch it anyway. All right. Another stoplight here at Riverside and Laurel Canyon. Jesus Christ. I might as well just tell you where I fucking live. This is so stupid. Oh, you see that city bank? Can you see it? Right there. Yoink. That's my city bank. Uh, I just told you where I bank. Jesus, fuck. I told you where I live. I told you where I bank. I told you where I used to work. You guys could be me. You could pose as me. If there was anything at all that you could steal or get from me by using my name, you could do it because already I've told you where my bank is. You could pop in there and pretend to be me, I guess. Hold on. God damn it. I gotta stop yawning. I'm beat because I haven't slept much um, working. I was in the gym. I got back to the gym today and fucking killed it. And, uh, yeah, so this is a lot of nothing. All right. I might have, might, this might be the one I don't put up. Because Max said to me, I was like, dude, I'm just filming a linear episode. He goes, why would you do that? You can do whatever the fuck you wanted. I go, but, yeah, but I have to do what I can do. You know, I, I can't just put, like, a fucking bondage mask on and pretend to be a guy. And I don't know if he was suggesting that, but that was where my head went. Because um, this is what I do is I fucking talk. And I just talk in circles. So I'm like, well, I can go ahead and just do that. And he's like, eh, I don't know if you should do that. But, uh, but why not? And then he said, you know what, you don't have to put all the videos up either. I said, well, no, I have to, because they're going to be linear. They're all going to connect. It's just going to be, you know, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, and it's going to be one whole episode that you can compile like a jigsaw puzzle. And he's like, uh, you don't have to do that, though. If you, if you do a clip and it doesn't work, why would you put it up? And I, I said, you know, in my head, I mean, he's right. He's totally right, because we have control. We can do whatever the fuck we want here. But because that's cheating, right? Isn't that, oh, like Christmas lights. Ooh. All those lonely candy canes. Uh, it's, and it's not January 1st. Shouldn't they have taken this stuff down? I think they should have. Um, but yeah, but that seems like cheating, right? To just do a clip and then not put it up and go, ah, that one didn't work. Because 
that's not what the show is. The show is talking at the speed of my head, and the show is just firing on all cylinders, and the show is just letting me on, well, firing on whatever fucking cylinders I happen to have. I don't want to say all cylinders. All of my cylinders. Because I'm sure plenty of you out there have more cylinders than I have, but I'm firing on the very few that I have. Um, all right, we're coming to a stop sign. As you know, red octagon means stop. Uh, oh, by the way, red octagon. That, that, that should have been the story of the UFC this weekend as, as fucking spider. Oh, my God, spider. God damn, did you guys see that? Oh, oh Christmas lights. Ooh. Take them down. Fucking January 1st, 2014, folks. Take them down. Um, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, yeah, so, so Max was just like, dude, you don't have to put videos up. And I said, yes, I kind of do. And he's, he's not wrong. I don't have to put this one up. I'm going to. You're going to see it and go, Jesus Christ, that is the one that I would have left out. Although most of you are like, dude, I would have left all of these out. Uh, all of them. Actually, you know what? You care. Everybody cares. Maybe you guys like this. Maybe you don't. I don't fucking know. We're trying something here, folks. Because it, otherwise, it was this or there was nothing. Because I mean, it would have just been a fucking void. Because then I told Lily, I was like, fuck it. We'll just try something. Hey, here's my house. Guess what? I just showed you my house. All right. The gate is opening. I live in a high security building, folks, as you know. As a, as a celebrity, as an internet celebrity, I have the fucking highest security. Security of the highest order. All right, we are now parking here in the carport. Uh, here's a funny, well, this isn't a funny story, but it's a story. See, there's my, see that number 10 with the lock on it? Okay. Um, I think that that is full of my stuff. That's our storage unit or our, mine now, but it was mine and Karen's, and I think she put a bunch of stuff out here, and I got no fucking idea what's in there, and even worse, I don't have the combination for that fucking lock. So, so there could be amazingly cool stuff in there, there could be nothing in there worth of any value, I don't know what the fuck it is, but unless she comes here and she has the combination, or she tells me what the fuck it is, when I move, it's all sitting right there at number 10, and they can auction it the fuck off. I do think... The camping equipment I won on, uh, on fucking My Generation is in there. Because I was supposed to list that on eBay a million years ago. And uh, so, by the way, just me telling you that I was supposed to put the camping equipment on eBay should give you a lot of faith that I'll have the eBay store of the new, of the old shirts, right? Doesn't that make you think, oh my god, he's probably going to get that up pretty soon. If fucking nine years ago he was supposed to sell his fucking camping equipment and it's in a locked fucking box that he doesn't have the combination for. Um... So, yeah, so, I mean, that, that right there, that storage unit, I have no idea what the fuck is in it. Not at all. I don't know anything. It might be good. It might be bad. Is it, hey, isn't there, like, a fucking reality show where they'll come out and they'll open it up and see what's in there? Like, who wants to bid on that? There you go. Fuck eBay and fuck camping equipment. I should just go ahead and have some dudes come out and bid on the, con the fucking, uh, the contents of, of bin 10. Um... But they'll, but they don't have the combination for the lock. Well, you know what? That'll be the first thing they have to bid on. First guy's bid on the combination for the lock, and then bid on the contents of fucking box number 10. Um, but actually, I guess they'll snip that lock off, right? Don't they do that? Because they're all fucking guidos anyway, these dudes. Every time I see one of those shows, it's just that, you know, any show where there's palms, you know, pawn shop stars or hoarders, whatever the fuck, it's just, it's, it's just fucking guidos yelling at each other. And I don't get it. It's just, you might as well just have a puppet show where you're just holding up tank tops with spaghetti sauce and banging them into one another because that's all those fucking shows are. Every time I turn them on, it's some fucking weird guido chick and she's yelling and a guy's yelling and there's just haircuts and, and uh, you know, fucking giant teeth. And I don't get it, man. I don't get anything. I don't get anything at all. You know what I think is quality entertainment? A man in his car talking on the phone three minutes at a time and forcing you to put it together in some coherent fashion. Why the fuck would I give you anything that would be, you know, a finished piece of work? No, instead, I sit in my car and I just fire off fucking bite-sized nuggets and then you can choose to experience them if you want. And you can choose to not experience them if you want. That's the beauty of handheld fucking television, telephone technology. Fuck. All right, so we are heading in to the house now. Like I said, high security building, there was the gate, here's another gate. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, this is more 40-year-old boy history. Uh, first of all, I'm holding bananas in one hand, this is going to be hard. Alright, I'll try to switch phones because I have to get my keys out. Alright, and then open this door. This is a live action shot of me putting a key in a door. Look at that, folks. Oh, look at that hand, yeah, it's fucking ripped. All right, so we're in now. Um, but here's the uh, action shot. All right, I'll, I'll give you some perspective. All right, there's that gate right there. It's going to close and make a noise in just a second as I try to fill some time until it does. Go ahead and close. Thank you. Um, but this, here, we'll back up a little. 
This is the uh, hallway that leads to the carport area. And then you'll go here and uh, you can look out. Um, this is where I was standing when I did the helicopter. Karen used to park, you see where my Murano is? That's where Karen parked. So I'm standing here <laughs> the whole time, right here, um, and just spinning my cock, doing a helicopter, waiting for her to back out, and she's backing out super slow. And what I don't realize is over here, because I didn't think, I'm just looking at her car. And what I didn't realize is over here, like around where that silver car is, over there, see that silver car? Uh, there's a woman and her daughter, and they see me just standing here spinning my cock. And that's when she says, uh, you need to stop that. So this is, this is the right now, this is the headquarters of you need to stop that. It happened right in this area here. And also, you'll take a look. This is what will make it even more absurd. Um, all right, so you can see my carport area, and people can see me. Uh, and I didn't realize that. But also, if you look, you see the windows of the building behind my building? You can kind of see lights on in those windows. Those people can absolutely fucking see me. Like, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm just looking directly at Karen's car, and she's backing out. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to spin my cock until you notice, because it's fucking hysterical. So I didn't even, look, I was caught unawares by the people over here. But dude, those fucking people who live over there, they all of their windows, they could have seen me the whole time. Like, I didn't even think about it. That's how fucking dumb I am. I don't think about stuff. I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll just spin my cock. It'll be hilarious. You can't do that shit. The same guy who has that thought process, the same guy who thinks that whipping his cock out and spinning it around and not thinking that anybody's going to see him and thinking it'll be hilarious, that's the same guy who thinks it's a great idea to do three minute videos and put them up on Facebook consecutively. You know, I probably shouldn't end all of these videos by shitting on the concept, right? Uh, I should pretend this is a good idea at some point. Alright, um, this is where I live. Why not? Let's do this. I've already fucking gone this far. All right, I will tell you this. Do you remember me telling you that uh, I told the story a long time ago how Karen did something and they gave her a tree? There's the tree. She gave it to our apartment complex and they planted it and it has grown immeasurably. It's at least doubled in size. Uh, so don't think I don't think of her every single time I walk out of my house and walk past this fucking tree. That doesn't punch me right in the fucking heart. All right, so bushes, uh, palm trees. Let's see, uh, it's tough with no light, but let's just go take a look, all right, stairs, here's the pool, I'm going to show you the pool, uh, should we go for a swim, should we just dive in, perhaps we should, um, yeah, but this is my building, and you can see the nice, oh, look at, dude, look at the stars, that's pretty crazy, it's really not, there are stars out every single fucking night, um, but yeah, this is where I, uh, this is the pool, and there's palm trees, I mean, it's beautiful, I mean, I, I, I love it, um, you know, it's, I won't lie, it's painful being here, because this was the, uh, this is the first place Karen and I lived in California, the only place Karen and I lived together in California, moved here in 97, and, and she left, and now I'm here, and it's, it's weird, it doesn't even feel like my place, I mean, it does, but it doesn't. You know, I come home, I'm home now at fucking one in the morning and it's quiet. And I just, I, you know, I'm a divorced guy. Every, every time, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, when it's late or when I'm walking around, because I'm by myself. So I, like I said, I live in earbuds. Um, but whenever I'm out walking, this is totally true. If I go anywhere by myself, like to the grocery store, or if I go to drop my dry cleaning off, or if I have to go to Target by myself, in my head, I've invented this character of divorced guy because everybody knows. Everybody knows that's divorced guy in the detergent aisle. Everybody knows that's divorced guy looking at Chobani and bitching about the fucking container. But in my head, the soundtrack to it, even if I have earbuds in, the soundtrack to it will be the piano track from Stripes when Bill Murray was having the worst day ever and he, you know, he dropped the pizza and the fucking dress got ran over and ding, 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 ding. And that plays in my head every time I have to do something by myself, any sort of grocery shopping, tar any, any laundry, anything that I would have normally done with Karen or Karen would have done for me, uh, divorced guy theme goes off in my fucking head and I just fucking wind up feeling sorry for myself the entire time that I do it. Yeah, that's the kind of guy I am. That's weird. That's a weird noise. That's a banging noise. That's, that's like a ghost noise. There's a ghost here. You guys are going to laugh. <laughs> maybe, maybe for the first time in 45 minutes. 
First of all, how much worse has my voice gotten? That's fucking strange. <clears throat> the reason it's surprising to me that my voice has gotten this much worse is, um, you know Video 15, which you just watched, ostensibly, you probably didn't watch Video 15. I'm, I'll be shocked if you watched Video 3. See, I just said I shouldn't make fun of the concept, and yet here I am making fun of the concept again. Um, I love this idea. It just kind of came together in the middle of the night, and it had to, by necessity, as I mentioned. This would have been a much more fun idea, I think, if I would have been ready for it and then spent an entire day going out and filming a bunch of shit. Uh, but instead, here's what happened to Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. I've gone ahead and referred to myself in the third person, because why not? <laughs> we're at that point. That's the point we're at right now in these videos. I've gone ahead and referred to myself in the third person. So, um, Mike came home and heard that banging ghost noise and was shocked and stunned and went, I need to investigate that ghost noise. Wait a second. Get in the house and start to make sure that this concept can actually work. Because, uh, you know, I thought of it when I was down in Venice. I had no fucking idea if I could post these videos. I had no idea if Facebook was going to cooperate. I, I wasn't sure. So I was contacting David, and he and I made, I said, I'm going to make this page up, and he said, great, and then he went ahead and uh, he, he said, I'll do it, I'll film the theme song, which you already saw, uh, the opening theme song, and, and I, again, I love the idea, I just, don't, I just don't know what kind of legs it has, as I sit here, I'm, I'm, now, by the way, we're filming me now, which is strange, so I can actually see the time, so I'm not going to panic when I get to the three minute mark like I have been the entire fucking night. So I've, I've watched, I got, you know, I watched a couple of these videos. Uh, I, I said, fuck, a hundred thousand times in three minutes in all of them. Is it like that every week? Because, again, I, I kind of don't listen to the show, and I probably should, because I would get a read on who I am as a guy and the things that I say, and I might have a better uh, chance of remembering stuff. God, my voice is fried. <clears throat> this is what happens when you scream fuck at the top of your lungs in your car over and over. Um... So I filmed that outside, and I came in my house. I'm in my apartment now. Uh, I, I'm not going to film the apartment. I've already filmed everything else outside. <laughs> doesn't make any sense to take on a tour through the apartment. You know why? There's one room. Hey, here's the living room. Hey, here's the bedroom. Bye. I mean, I, I ring every single thing I can out of three minutes in all these videos. I do not think I could make my apartment last three minutes. There's nothing I could tell you. What, show you the floor where I hit the deck? naked because people look in through my giant fucking picture window. I mean, it's, it's, it's a floor. It's a window. I, I, have, what do I have three windows, four windows, two rooms, three, four rooms. I'm yawning. Jesus Christ. So, oh, three minutes. You know what's funny? I didn't think I was going to catch myself, but I did. So, so I'm at the desk, and I build the page, and I talk to Max via text, and he goes to sleep, and so I start to upload videos. Now, the thing with Facebook, I, I was worried about them letting me upload the three-minute videos, but it turned out that was not a problem. They're, they're okay. They let me upload the three-minute videos. Unfortunately, it takes about six minutes for me to upload each three-minute video because they're on my fucking phone. So I, I can't just do them from my computer. I could have. I could have uploaded them all on my computer and then on my goddamn phone. But who the fuck am I? Lily? I can't do that. See, it's funny. That's, uh, I am Lily this week because I had to record stuff and then I have to upload it and I have to sit there and wait and wait and wait. And I'm uploading three-minute videos and it's driving me out of my fucking tree. Lily uploads a three-hour show. Not only that, sits through, combs through it, and, and makes it funny. That's what she does. It's the last thing I say to her when I leave her apartment. Hey, do me a favor make it funny. Um, so so that's, that's two ways we're missing Lily this week. One, uh, we're missing her expertise in uploading videos and, and have the patience. But two, um, she's not around to make it funny. So you got a lot of me squawking in a fucking raspy voice like Brenda Vaccaro. Yeah, actually, I sound like Nina Blackwood a little bit. <gasps> Wait a minute. You know who I sound like, really? All right. Does anybody out there have a Samsung 4 phone? Uh, Android? I don't know what the fuck they call it. All I know is I have an iPhone, so I have a very pleasant person who lives inside my phone. Dude, the Samsung 4, the lady who lives inside the phone, sounds like she's being strangled. It's, and that's not even a joke. It's not even like for a second or just... A, no. Every time she fucking talks, she sounds like she, she, you know, the time is... I mean, it's that fucking crazy. It sounds like they let Brian De Palma voice cast it and then film it as someone was getting throttled. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. And, and to the point where I had to comment, every time I would hear the voice, I'd go, that is... I mean, that's really terrible. It sounds so bad. And then uh, cut to a week later, here I am doing 15-minute or 15 fucking three-minute videos, and I sound like the woman in the Samsung 4. 
crazy. So I'm sitting at my desk and I'm uploading videos and it takes, you know, I'm doing it with my phone and then I have to refresh the page and I have to build the page and I have to make next an admin video with the bed. And uh, as I'm uploading the videos, I fell asleep at my desk, like Einstein. Although the dumbest Einstein in history. The, this is what Einstein was figuring out the theory of relativity. I was thinking about the theory of how it, basically humor is relative, and I'm proving that this week by putting fucking three-minute videos up. I fell asleep with my head down on my desk. Uh, so the last time I, I did a video, not the, not the last one, whatever the fuck, before you started seeing my face, when I came, oh, I heard the bang and ghost noise outside. Uh, that was like... 1.30 in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, as you can see behind me, it's light outside. Uh, it's fucking, it's like 7 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning now. And, uh, and I, I gotta be honest, I am fucking gassed. <laughs> so I'm uh, kind of in the bag a bit, like gassed, as I mentioned in the last video. I don't know if you're watching these in order. I'm so pretentious. I actually put the, I, I broke numbers. And it was my way of thinking, you know, I'll guide people through this, but at the same fucking time, you watch whatever the fuck you want. Watch none of them. Watch all of them. I, I, I wish I could say I don't care. I'd like you to see them. But, I mean, it is really just a guy fucking yammering, which the show is, I guess. But when the show is in, like, one cohesive thing, it feels like it's something. This just feels like a whole lot of stuff that might not be anything. But I'm yawning now. Fuck. I'm tired. Uh, again, gassed. So, and by the way, in the last video, and the page is live, too, by the way, let's go ahead and mention that, the page is live. Um, and I may have just given away some crucial listener information, I don't know if I did, I apologize if I did. Um, so, uh, in the last video, I mentioned that Einstein fell asleep at his desk, and, and that's what I did. But I think I'm thinking of Thomas Jefferson. It's him who slept at his desk, right? Uh, although I can't speak to all the sleep habits of Einstein, perhaps he slept at his desk as well. I don't know when Mrs. Einstein was like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Because that happened a lot when Einstein would fight with his wife, and she'd go, go to your fucking lab and work on your nonsense. Uh, and by the way, that's, that's what I bring to the table in my knowledge of Einstein. The guy who invented the theory of relativity, whatever the fuck else he invented, I just said, go work on your nonsense. Einstein, as I put three-minute videos on Facebook at seven o'clock in the fucking morning, um... And, uh, although, I gotta be honest, I don't know anything about Einstein, except for the stupid hair. Literally, all I know about Einstein is the theory of relativity, the goofy hair, and the picture with the tongue out. Because when I worked for a show, I, I juxtaposed that picture with Gene Simmons and wrote a quiz about Einstein or Gene Simmons, like, who, who did it better or who wore it better. Yes, who wore it better? Who wore the Gene Simmons makeup better? Gene Simmons or Einstein? That was what Einstein invented. He edited the Gene Simmons makeup. Um, so, uh, the point is, uh... When I was asleep, I got a text from Max, and I woke up to find it, and he said, you know, here's an idea. Because um, I told you he wanted me to just edit these or not put up some, and it felt like cheating. Who fucking cares? Uh, but he also said, dude, you know, you can... Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> My computer, see? That's what happens when you don't fucking... Your computer goes to sleep, let's, and then let's see if I can bring myself back. There we go. Jesus, that was fucking odd. Uh, I like that. That was almost like a nuclear attack in the middle of my fucking video. Um, so Max sent a text, where are we at, two and a half, so I gotta hustle through this, there's gonna be, I thought that this would be the last one for the morning, but that's what I'm getting to, David wrote a text, and he's like, dude, you know, you don't have to put all these up at once, you don't have to fire away, you can actually film stuff throughout the day, and make this kind of a living, breathing episode, and update it, and maybe people will catch up, or maybe they fucking won't, maybe they won't look at it at all, uh, so I think that's what I'm gonna do, um, because I gotta, I gotta get some sleep, although, uh, like, I'm really gonna sleep. But I, I can't, I mean, I have to. But wouldn't it be, I can't just sit here stagnant in the, because when you saw just what happened, even the computer gave a thumbs down what the fuck I'm doing. My computer just went, yeah, we're going to cut the fucking lights on you. We are not interested in seeing any more of this at all. So we are fucking pulling the plug. Fuck it. I'm not going to sleep. All right, it's pretty obvious. As you can tell by my giant eyes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on a semi-field trip, I think. Uh, but right now, I have to make out, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do, alright, there are lucky listeners, not lucky, fuck, people, who bought stuff. Uh, I want to show you, like, let's take a look at this envelope right here. Who's this? Can we read that? You know, it's funny, I'm yelling because I have earbuds in, and I have actually, I have music playing because I'm stupid. Like, I can't even, I can't even bear the sound of my own fucking voice to this point, that I actually have to have music going. Uh, and I know you're thinking to yourself, what song could it possibly be? Well... 
Stage Fright by Def Leppard just ended, and for some reason, that song has not sounded that good to me uh, in years. Today it fucking jammed. I was hopping around my kitchen like an idiot. But right now what's playing is this. Can you read that? It's backwards. How about now? That's right. Can you read it? Motherboard by Daft Punk? Jesus Christ. Uh, so we're going to go out, man. But for right now, we're going to make out this, uh, like I said right here, that's our friend Fitz Elliott. Fitz Elliott, congratulations. You bought the big angry CD, so I'm about to sign that for you. You know what? I'll do that right now. Um, but i got to open it. Fuck. Here, let me try to balance this. I'm going to balance this up against a box. I know that you're going to see something on my desk you're not supposed to fucking see. Somebody's address. Uh, and by the way, listener Joyce Godsey wrote me, I shouldn't say her last fucking name, but uh, she wrote me on Facebook and she, she watched the first few videos and she's like, uh, hey, can I buy this for you? And it was a fucking caddy that you put on your windshield to hold your camera. And I'm like, uh, no, I mean, I appreciate that. That's nice of you. And then she's like, whatever, idiot. I said, whoa, that seems strong, idiot. She goes, my sarcasm doesn't translate on Facebook. And you know what? I know what you mean, Joyce. My sarcasm rarely translates on Facebook. Uh, but what she meant was, and it, but I did, you know what? I was a little sensitive. Not really, but because I watched the first few videos, and I saw my fucking hand shaking like that. I'm like, great, Muhammad Ali is doing my fucking videos. So we're going to sign right now to our friend Ryan. No. Ryan? Where the fuck Ryan? Where did Ryan come from? Because I'm thinking of Ryan Dirks, who does all of our web work. If you ever want anything done uh, web-wise... Ask me for a reference, and my friend Ryan Dirks will do it for you, and I will refer you to him, and he's on Facebook, and you can find him. But right now, we're going to write in green Sharpie uh, to Fitz. Fitz. Thanks. I'm very creative. Uh, Michael Glenn Schmidt. Fitz, this is going to the mail now. We're going to actually take a road trip out to the, uh, the post office, but right now there's a big angry, available for now, uh, right now, for sale at the Joe Business page, and look at this, Fitz, thanks, Michael Glenn Schmidt, that's me, and you know what, Fitz, because you are a lucky participant, you bought the big angry, and you're involved in this week's experiment, uh, I'm going to give you tweaked audio earbuds, throwing them in free of charge in your package, hold on, motherboard is ending, no it's not, it is, no it's still there, uh, I'm going to give you tweakedaudio.com slash 40 earbuds. Tweakedaudio.com slash 40, a huge supporter of the 40-Year-Old Boy podcast, uh, even weird weeks like this. So, uh, so Bruce and the people over there deserve your business. Go to tweakedaudio.com slash 40 and buy everything. Autoerotic asphyxiation earbuds right here. Choke yourself, Fitz, while you're jerking off. And then uh, they also have uh, cockering watches. I'm sorry, motherboard just got really fucking loud. And they also have gear. Uh, all right, we have more stuff to sign. Be back. All Three right, change of plans. We're leaving now. We're not done filling stuff out. We'll be back to fill stuff out. Hey, here's my house during the day. Nice, huh? Oh, caution. What floor? Caution, everybody. All right. Uh, there's the sun. Let's get the sun in here. Why not? To the balcony. Trees. Palm trees right outside my door. There's the laundry room. Let's do some laundry. But <laughs> Actually, we will be fucking doing laundry later. Uh, and let's see the pool during the day. It was eerily more pretty at night, I think, but you get the vibe here of California. I'm sending this mainly out for my friend Kathy Bowman. Bowman? Bowman? Bauman, I think, uh, who was like, I like seeing L.A. I've never seen L.A. Well, this is parts of L.A. And for all you people freezing your fucking balls off out in the Midwest, I was there. I was there Sunday. I know how you feel. Although, I guess it's worse now. Uh, but here's the pool. We could dive in. And, and by the way, this sun, hot. Just as hot here as it was by you during July and June. I think it's like 75 right now. Now I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess it's 67 degrees. Now I'm going to guess it's 69 degrees. Up top, my brother. All right. Uh, by the way, see that window right there? See the staircase? And then see that window right there? That's where Frenchie's daughter was naked. So if I, I, I should show you the view from my house and you can see exactly where I saw it. Uh, and my voice is still fucking fried. Uh, all right, well, we're leaving. Here's why we're leaving, okay? Because uh, who wants a burrito? I want a fucking burrito. Yes, eating's for the week. I understand that. But uh, all right, I'll tell you this. There's a restaurant called Hugo's Tacos. And they have breakfast burritos for three bucks between 10 and 11 here. By the way, we were all here last night, remember? This is it during the day? Um, I shouldn't show you my license plate. I don't know why. What, what would it matter? It's not like you could do anything with the license plate, right? But we're going to cover it up anyway for no good reason. Um, so, yeah, they've got uh, breakfast burritos for like three bucks between 10 and 11. So, uh, so we're going to do it because it's, and uh, I, I tried to upload the last video. I have no idea when they're fucking going up and in what order. You'll see this is 20. Uh, 19, oh look, by the way, I have a fancy camera in my car, you guys can check that out as I back up, and, uh, 
I will look in it. My car's making a weird rumbling noise now when I start it. It's like it's cold because it's old. My car and I are aging together. All right, let's do this. And now we're turning. So we're going to get a fucking burrito, and then we're going to come back and fill out more mail, and then, uh, and then <laughs> eat the burrito. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's press this and open the gate. Uh, you know what? I said, what did I say it was? I said it was 68, 67. My car says it's 60, and I don't fucking believe my car. My car is a liar. You know, it's fucking, uh, it's, it's, uh, Murano. Murano's lie. I don't know what that means. I almost said something there, and I think you guys all know what I almost said, but I didn't because I went, you know what? I can't edit that out. Because my brain will go to certain places, and then it stops because I'm fucking dumb. Or actually, it doesn't stop. I stop it. Or I'll make Lily take it out. All right, we're turning right here. Uh, as long as nobody's coming, yes. All right, so now we're driving down to Hugo's Tacos. We're going to get a breakfast burrito, and I will show you what that's all about. You know what that's all about. I'm going to explain burritos. Let me break down fucking burritos for you people, all right? Here's the thing. You get a tortilla, and you put some stuff in it, God damn it. All right, hold on. It's a crosswalk. There's a pizza hut. Here's a green light. Green means go, as we all know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go get a burrito right now. Whoop, whoop, hold on. Jesus Christ. By the way, my shocks and struts are shot, and I need to get them fixed. Thank God the Wheel of Fortune provided me no money to do that. Literally, I'm going to buy a bed and pay some taxes, and then I'm fucking done. That's it. And let's talk about Wheel of Fortune. Oh, my God. There's the construction here on this street. I don't want to say what street it is because I live on it. And then we're coming up to another street here where there is no construction. Look at all these confusing signs, arrows and circles and slashes. What the fuck? Just let me go where I'm going, for fuck's sake. Don't tell me what to do. You're not the master of me. You're not the boss of my road. Perhaps you are. Hey, look. You see how quick that drive was to this Walgreens? That's the drive I used to make every single night to go get fucking candy bars in the middle of the night to make sure that I had something to eat. Uh, and Well, not even that I had something to eat, but that I had a fucking candy bar. Because I am a fucking monster. I am a grizzly bear. Uh, a great white shark, if you will. What would I rather be, a grizzly bear or a great white shark? Here's the thing. I, I think I would rather be a great white shark because people wouldn't see you coming and you could eat them and then fly away. I mean, you wouldn't fly away. Sharks don't fly. Jesus Christ, what if sharks flew? That'd be amazing. If you were a flying shark, you know what? If I could be a flying shark, fuck a bear. Bear doesn't even enter the equation. I would absolutely be a flying shark. Dude, sh flying sharks are dangerous, right? Don't you think? I'm, I'm scared enough of flying birds. Birds shouldn't even be able to fly. Birds should have to walk. Ducks, well, not well, nah, because ducks always fucking block traffic. Jesus Christ. See, this is what happens when you just talk. All right, we turned onto this road. We are heading down uh, to get a burrito. And um, we're at, what are we, at a minute? Ten? See, look, I got, look, I can luxuriate in the fact that I have at least two more minutes here. Um, so, yeah, there's more stuff to fill out. I actually tried to upload video. This is 20, I think. No, this is 21. I tried to upload 19 and it was fucking, it made me wait like 15 minutes and that's why we had to leave to go get a fucking burrito because I was going to wait and fill out more mail and then go and do all that but, uh, you know, time is of the essence when you're buying breakfast burritos on, on discount. Jesus Christ, this is what my life has come to. I am timing my window to get a discount burrito. Jesus. I, I, look, I haven't had a breakfast burrito in fucking forever but I, because I'm never up. I mean, when I'm up this early, I go to the gym and then I go to work and when I'm at work, I feel stupid buying a burrito because they got fucking food there. If I want food, I can order it there but now I'm not going to work we're off today. I'm spending the whole day with you guys via video, via my handheld uh, device. And then, uh, oh wait, look at this. They're now leasing? Well, I don't think I'm going to be leasing anything. And this is Whole Foods, which we have here, and I'm sure you have there. Uh, is there a line? What if there's a burrito line? Hold on. Yellow means caution. We're taking caution as we go through the intersection. Uh, breakfast, bro. See the sign? Breakfast burrito. I just passed it super fast, and I just missed the curb. All right, we're going to back up because I'm fucking filming like a dumbass. And uh, we're going to pull into this parking lot eventually and get some burritos. Uh, hey, I said that Joyce was going to buy me that thing, and then I wrote her back, and I was like, you called me an idiot. Why? I just ran over a curb. Did you feel that bump? And I said, hey, you called me an idiot. That's silly. Uh, but I was joking around with her, and, but of course she didn't think I was joking around because I didn't think she was joking around. Who cares? Um, but then she wrote me back, and she's like, yeah, it's sarcasm. Uh, I just don't want to hear that you died because you drove to get bananas and you were filming it. And I can see that point. Uh, although, isn't that a much better story? Do you want to die peacefully in your sleep? Or you don't want to, do you want to die filming your run for tropical fruit? I think, honestly, I would much rather die on a bicycle going to get a coconut than in a hospital room somewhere. So take that, Joyce Godsey. All right. Stop. Burrito time. Uh, we are heading to Hugo's Tacos, which is a roadside stand. There's now a line. We'll be behind the guy with tattoos and orange pants. That's always the best place to be. Uh, all right. What are we getting? What are we getting? We're getting, we're getting a breakfast burrito, which is right there. Hmm. Fish. 
Holy shit, a fish breakfast burrito? That sounds like monstrously awful, right? Doesn't that just sound like vomit in a tortilla? I'm not a fan. I, I gotta get in line. I don't want to miss out this deal. Uh, <laughs> this is what I was not prepared for, was the filming around people, so they all look at me and be like, what the fuck? Because normally, like I said, I have earbuds in, and so I'm... Are they talking about me? You guys can hear more than I can. Uh, but I have music going, so I can't hear a fucking thing. And what's playing right now is a song called Chick Habit off of the Dead Proof soundtrack. Uh, I have to be honest, I'm now very uncomfortable filming around people, so I'm, this, this video is going to be cut short. I was hoping to film the whole process of me ordering a burrito and deciding. I was hoping we'd all be in this together, but uh, that's not going to happen, because I am getting weird looks, at least I feel I am. Perhaps they're not even can't making any notice of me. But uh, in my head, they are. And I'm, I'm just feeling odd and uncomfortable and weird. Which I always feel, but, uh, but then I always uh, go ahead and do the stupid thing anyway, but today, I think I'm going to cut all this right, one All right, we have our burrito. We're backing out high. Nice to see you, ma'am. But by all means, unwrap your burrito and eat it while you're driving. That makes a lot of sense. We still have earbuds in. Maybe I'm that, so I'm, am I loud? I don't know. But we're listening to Over My Head by Fleetwood Mac, which came out after Chick Habit. Uh, Facebook is being a dick. Let me tell you that, because this is episode, hold on, we're, oh, we're turning, there's a guy who needs a bath. Good for you, having a conversation with a tree. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome to Los Angeles. Uh, should we stop and talk to that guy? Let's interview him. I'll bet that'll be interesting stuff. That'll be great radio. This is radio, by the way. I just reinvented it. I've reinvented radio. Now, look, I got a choice here. I can get behind the flashing light dump truck, or I can just go straight. You know what we're doing? Fucking straight. That's all I am, straight as an arrow, as straight as Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I only say that because he denied being gay, which I think is so ridiculous. Why do you ever have to deny being gay? If you're gay, be gay. If you're not gay, live your life. And who cares if people say you're gay? People say I'm gay all the time. No, they don't. Nobody does, ever. Now, wait a minute. I have a shuffle going. I'm going to fucking show you this. Look at this. Okay? Can you see what song that is? Go your own way. Do you see how many songs I have? There's fucking 1,653 songs in this playlist, and it just played two Fleetwood Song Max, uh, Fleetwood Song Max, Fleetwood Max songs in a row. That makes no sense, uh, but it doesn't matter because I'll always listen to Go Your Own Way, right? How can I, when you won't take it from me? <clears throat> Sorry, I can't sing, folks. I got my voice in my throat. All right, we're going straight to this green light here, and eventually we're going to have to turn left and go back to where I live, although I can't tell you exactly where that is. It's an undisclosed location. Uh, you know what I am? I'm like the missing link. The wrestler, the missing link, from Parts Unknown. You ever see the missing link? I used to love the Road Warriors when I was a kid. They were the, my fucking favorite wrestlers. They put on makeup, and then the missing link showed up. His name was Dewey Robertson, his real name, but he had this fucking weird-ass body where he's like completely buffed and ripped, and then he had fucked up weird hair, but he had the most steroid body I've ever seen in my life. We're turning left. Shacking up's all you want to do. All right, we're turning. Uh, so he was the missing link. He wore green makeup with, like, fucking black shit around his eyes. And, uh, and he was always billed as being from Parts Unknown, which is, like, my favorite ever. Besides the one-man gang who was from Halstead Street, Chicago, which made me laugh because it's like he lived on the entire fucking street. And oftentimes, if you went to Halstead Street, especially early in the morning, and you went to pick up a burrito, when you were leaving, you could see the one-man gang talking to a tree. Ha, 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 Lonely day! Alright, uh, so we're coming upon the turn that I'm going to have to make to get to the place where I live. We're going to be right by the Walgreens. Are we by the Walgreens? I think we're by the Pizza Hut. I don't fucking know. But I can tell you this, if you look over here to the right, there's, uh, we'll be going in there to that post office pretty soon because we have to mail some stuff to listeners who purchase things. And we're going home now to fill out those fucking things. Oh, anyway, Facebook's being a dick. Hey, I didn't finish this either. I went to buy a fucking burrito. And one of the reasons why I'm buying an early morning burrito, like I mentioned, it's the deal between 10 and 11. But also, here's this, uh... I get miles, because I don't know if I've mentioned this, folks. I'm an American Airlines uh, gold level flyer, and I'm also part of the Advantage program, so when I eat at certain places, I get miles, and one of those places is Hugo's Tacos, so that burrito I just purchased that I will show you when we get to my house, that just got me like 56 miles. So I am on my way to visit you folks, courtesy of miles via a burrito. So I gotta get fatter, it's, the iron it's ironic. To get on a plane, I need to get fatter, but they hate me when I'm fat on a plane. I don't understand it. It's a dichotomy, and it's not something I care to express right now. Oh, my God. Hold on. We're going to turn left. 3.30. Behold. One-third of a breakfast burrito. <laughs> now, I know that's supposed to be a full breakfast burrito, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't wait because Facebook is being a cunt and won't post my videos on time. So I'm sitting here, and by the way, it's hard to even hold the phone because the phone is so hot from posting the videos and making it wait and Facebook making it fucking twist. Um... So, oh, and by the way, I, I'm sorry for my language. I, I, well, not really sorry. I mean, I, I use that word a lot. but uh, So much so that here, get this. At fucking work, 
You know, I forget that I'm not doing the podcast all the time. And I just kind of talk and I fire off and I don't even think. So I'm at work and I walked in and my manager, he looks at me and he's like, what's going on? I go, oh, dude, people are cunts on the fucking road today. And he jumped back like with this, like almost like I slapped him. Like he's really like this weird face. And because I guess I had used the word before and I didn't really think about it. Uh, that's right. Why, why am I showing this at burrito? This, literally, this is still life with burrito and me saying cunt. It's perfect. Um, <laughs> here, we'll do this. This is Facebook. Because I have to check the fucking page to make sure if it's loading or not. I have no idea if it is. Let's go to my page. All right, good. Um, so, yeah, man. I, I, uh, apparently, I use that word a lot. So, you know how you earn your nickname, folks? You always do that when you talk and maybe sometimes something sticks. Uh, and I walked in and my manager looked at me and he's like, uh, you know what? Uh, you're going to be Michael Cunts Schmidt from now on. And, uh, and guys have started to call, hey, cunts. So I'm like, oh, that's really good. I'm glad I made that happen for myself because I'm the fucking best. Uh, by the way, I'm filming this in a glorious side phone aspect ratio, whatever the fuck the number would be, for our good friend Sue Cloutier, who's a listener to the show and posted on the page, hey, can you film it sideways? I'm watching this on my television. And I have to tell you something. Was it Thomas Edison? Who invented television? Whoever it was. If it was Edison, first of all, no, it's not. Didn't I say it was Thomas Jefferson sleeping at his, at his desk? No, it's Thomas Edison who slept at his desk, not Thomas Jefferson. Although, again, folks, who the fuck knows? Thomas Jefferson, he had a big place in Monticello. Sometimes he's working. He doesn't want to walk all the way to bed. He brings in Sally Hemings. He fucking brails her right there in the office, and then he takes a nap on his goddamn desk. Get off my fucking back. Edison Jefferson, somewhere some Thomas slept at his fucking desk. Um, but Sue Cloutier is watching this on television, and I cannot think of a worse use of the invention of television other than Milton Berle. Uh, anything Milton Berle was in or did because he was never funny in a billion years. I don't care how big your cock is, you weren't funny, Milton Berle, and you're dead, and I'm glad for it. That's right, I rooted for your death. Every, from the time I knew of your existence, I rooted for you to die, except for when you were Louis the Lilac in the old Batman show. All right. Um, so, I'm eating this burrito, man. It was cold, and I was... Oh, wait, what's on in the fucking iPod? Hold on. Dudes... Seriously, you think you're somebody? You think you want to be somebody? I, you know, I'm going to put it up to the speaker. Hold on. Where's the recording thing? I don't know. I don't even know where it records on the fucking phone. Here's this. It's my earbud. Listen. Dude, that's fucking Christine 16 by newly crowned Rock and Roll Hall of Famers. Kiss. This is just as stupid as the podcast. It's me literally talking out of, out of about nothing. Fucking kiss and burritos. And all I do is fucking three-minute sound bite you to death. God damn it. But at least, at least, folks. At least it's in glorious side ratio. So when you watch this on your television, and when future generations watch this on their television, they can go, thank God the burrito segment was in glorious aspect ratio perfection. All right. We are going to go out, I promise. We're going to leave my desk and head out. But first, uh, we have one more package to prepare as we go to the uh, post office. Let me go ahead and uh, jot this down. Let's write this person down. I don't know how to fix the envelope. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how to do an envelope anymore. All right. Let's guess who it is. A. Who could it be? Looks like Aaron. Sunday. Now, fuck. Why did I make that A? That pisses me off. Uh, I'm, I'm this kind of A guy. I'm not that A guy. And I, and I do this all the time. I'll fucking, I'll tell myself, I'm an A guy, a capital A guy. I'm not a small A guy. And then I'll make a fucking small A guy because my hand just kind of does it. Oh, I'm furious. Furious. Should I throw this envelope away? I won't. That's, that's like throwing away a buck. A buck seems high. I don't know where I'm shopping. Um... So our friend Aaron Sunday is, uh, he ordered a, let me tell you about Aaron. He ordered a yurt dirt dirt shirt and, uh, a yurt dirt dirt shirt. And I, uh, he ordered it like three months ago. And then he's like, dude, you know, uh, you can bring it to me at dinner because I've gone to dinner with him and his wife for his birthday a few times. And, uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen this year, or it might. I have no idea. But the point is, I'm just, I'm tired of holding on to a shirt. That's right. I've got so many shirts here, I have to get them out. It's been cluttering up my house for so long. So let's get him a shirt, and let's go ahead and put his address on here. All right, he is at 60. I will stop right there. Aaron started to panic because I was going to give his address to the entire internet. By the entire internet, I mean the five people who are tolerating these fucking videos. Um, but I swear to God, I'm going to fill this envelope out. I'm going to put a shirt in there. And by the way, uh, Aaron, you do also get, because you've ordered, you get these right here, tweakedaudio.com, autoerotic asphyxiation earbuds. So feel free to uh, jerk yourself off into a coma, and those will be in your package with your shirt, which is right here. Here's your shirt. Uh, and then I will, we will go out, and we will do some stuff, I, it, because it seems like we should go do stuff, right? This, if just me sitting at a desk, that seems ridiculous. If I'm going to use the video, if I'm going to use this whole aspect, if I'm going to use this glorious... Uh, side ratio for my friend Sue Cloutier, which, by the way, let's do this. Hi. <laughs> How do I look on TV, Sue? I, I, because if, I'm, if you needed it, like, side aspects, so my head's got to be 
my head was probably no, it was probably elongated before so now I could probably have a big like a round pumpkin head because I have a giant head I wear like a fucking eight hat and what's funny is the the picture from Wheel of Fortune where Sajak is standing next to me Max is talking to me on the phone he's like dude how fucking big is Sajak's head I'm like yeah it's pretty big and he goes dude you wear an eight hat next to you he he just had this like fucking bobbing noggin like I I'm not kidding Sage I saw his head because it was a giant head I half expected. Smilex to start shooting out of it and killing everybody in the crowd before Batman swooped in in the Batwing and fucking saved everybody because it was a gigantic parade float head. Um, I should stop filming me, but still, Slew, Sue, Sue, Slew, how good do I look on television? With, uh, I'll pose. <laughs> One dimple, two cheekbones, and then the fucking devil horns, which everybody likes. Nobody likes those. Uh, well, somebody does. All right, so let's do this. We'll go back. Hey, oh, my God, three minutes. All right, so, oh, and I'll do it. I'll show you this. Uh, our friend Christine Butcher sent me a gift. I, I told you guys a few weeks ago, or two weeks ago, or last week, and she addressed it to the 46-year-old boy. Made me laugh. Uh, and there's the P.O. Box. If you guys want to send me anything, care of Throw Punch Media, go, go with Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt, care of Throw Punch Media, P.O. Box 146, North Hollywood, California, 91603. Send me something cool, and, uh, and I will talk about it on the radio. And by the radio, I mean the Internet. And by the Internet, I mean the place where I live. Uh, all right, I'm going to fill out Aaron's package. We're going to go to the fucking post office and the bank, and we're just going to have fun. We're going to have fun. At least just get out in the sun, right? You guys are trapped in the cold. Let's get out and thaw out. This is the 40-Year-Old Boy on the Mike Schmidt Podcasting Network. You're listening to The 40-Year-Old Boy, and coming up later, Cutlip and the Bandit. You're listening to The 40-Year-Old Boy, and later, The Jerk-Off Journals, two guys who celebrate Palm Sunday every day. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of creeped out about this, but, um, you, you, ever, you ever accidentally, like, go off on, in your own mouth? What are you talking about? You know, like, last week, I was, I was on the, the cot, you know, the fold-up cot? Yeah. And right when I was about to go off, the cot, like, folded up on me at the last second, and I got some right in my mouth. Do you ever, you ever get it in your mouth? Not accidentally. It's all in the wrist. The Jerk Off Journals on the Mike Schmidt Podcasting Network. You should probably label these microphones. Let's join the 40-year-old boy, already in progress. All right, so here's the thing that I will show you. Uh, I'm going to let this guy over first because I'm a good person. That's how I do it when I drive. I let a guy get over when I see orange fucking cones. Uh, but right here you can see there's a huge crowd because there is a uh, premiere in Hollywood tonight. If you'll take a look. Hey, that's Murano. That guy matched me. I totally lit in a matching guy. Take a look here. Can you hear the people cheering? This is the Hollywood premiere of Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. And there's the grilled cheese truck, and there's the kill em all burger truck, and there's cops. And uh, this is, uh, there's the Koji truck. These are the best food trucks in Los Angeles, all here at the Arclight Cinema for this premiere, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Look at that. What you got to see? A slice of Hollywood. I didn't even anticipate that. I was taking you somewhere else. But there was the uh, Paranormal Activity premiere, all these different food trucks. I've talked about those food trucks. Koji, I've talked about the Kill em All Burger one. I've talked about the grilled cheese truck. Look at that. And you know what I did? I fucking drove right past all of them. Ha ha ha. I should have stopped and got food, right? Shouldn't I have stopped and showed you something? But there was nowhere to park. I would have to pull into the Arclight. Uh, I guess I could pull into the Arclight, right? Should I do that? Should I go buy his food truck food? 
Well, no, because I won't eat it. We already had a burrito earlier. We're still full, right, aren't we? No, I'm actually fucking starving. But the Kill Em All burger, dude, they got a peanut butter burger with sriracha on it. God damn, it's fantastic. Uh, but see, now I'm excited because I, I was taking you somewhere different. But now, sure enough, what did you just see? You saw a Hollywood premiere. We got to see, well, not really. You got to see me drive past the Hollywood premiere. I should have stopped and walked the red carpet. Hi, everybody. How are you? Look, this Murano's turning. I'm following him now. He and I are friends. However, he even has a dent where I have a dent. Can you see it? Dude, he totally has a dent where I have a dent. The only bad thing is he's an SE. And I'm an SL, which means I have leather. That motherfucker doesn't have leather. Hey, take your shit, Murano, walking, buddy. All right, so we're going to turn. That guy's homeless. I should have filmed him because God knows you want to see that. That's not depressing. That guy's a block away from a Hollywood premiere with fucking nine different food trucks. There are people selling grilled cheese out of the back of a fucking Volkswagen, and that guy's homeless a block away. That's Los Angeles. Uh, Murano, why are you slowing down? If you're going to go to McDonald's, just turn. Oh, you're parking. I see. Why are you going back to paranormal activity, you dick? All right. Uh, so that was the Cinerama Dome, which is the arc light. This guy's going to turn in front of me. I don't know why. All right, good for him. I'm taking you to a certain place, folks, as we drive. You may not have seen the road that I turned down, but I will tell you what it is in just a second. Uh, because first I will tell you that this is Fountain, and over here is the M-Bar. If you look right over here, there's the M-Bar. I used to, uh, I've done comedy in the M-Bar many times, and I bombed miserably. One time I bombed there so badly, I was auditioning for the Montreal Comedy Festival, I walked out in tears. Walked right to my car, didn't even stop to talk to anybody. That was fun. So let's reminisce about that here. And this 40-year-old boy, well, boy tour of Hollywood. We're going to stop now at Lexington, cross 47th Street. That's from Island Girl by Elton John. Uh, and we're going to keep filming because you're about to see something. Well, there's a Taco Bell Pizza Hut, because as I've said, you're nothing if you don't have a thousand Taco Bells in your fucking town. And uh, walking across the street right now is a, is a woman with a scarf and who looks really short and uh, odd. I don't know why I'm making fun of her. I look just as odd. I'm filming strangers. Um, so we're driving, we're moving, we're going, we're looking, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're coming up to now because this is Lexington, and uh, the road we're on right now is, wait for it, folks, Vine. We are on Vine, and you see that light right up there, that green light? Green means go. Uh, that green light is Santa Monica. And do you see those clubs on the wall? You did a second ago when my light was shining on them. Uh, you know, I'm going to pull in front, actually. You can take a look. That is the world-famous three clubs on Santa Monica and Vine. You can no longer see it because I had to park far away, but there were clubs on the wall that you saw a second ago, but that's the three clubs on Santa Monica and Vine. I want to remind you folks that every Monday night at the three clubs on Santa Monica and Vine, there's a fantastic burlesque show called the Monday Night Tees, seven years, longest running, hottest, a most amazing burlesque show in the history of Los Angeles, and that's right here. All right, we are at the intersection of Sunset and Western. I'm on Western, heading uh, south, or north, south? Yeah, I'm heading north <laughs> toward my house. Um, Sunset is this street here. We are on Western. In, in this big parking lot, which is now just uh, apparently being uh, dissolved by construction, there was a record store that I worked at called The Warehouse, and that's where I met Soul to Soul, and we became good friends. Um, part of that story is true. <laughs> I think I've told that story where I met Soul to Soul, but we did not become good friends. Well, Jazzy B and I still stay in touch, but the girls and I had a falling out. It was pretty ugly. Um, so here we're crossing Western uh, over Sunset, or we're on Western crossing Sunset. There's a reason we're here. Uh, I always talk about the 40-year-old boy tour, and I've shown you the three clubs, and oh, I'm going to have to wait behind this dude now unless I can possibly do make a quick maneuver, and I will make that maneuver, and then I'll maneuver back. And then there's a crosswalk, as you can see it blinking. Yellow means caution. Caution, everybody. There's a person in the street. They are no longer in the street, so let's move it, white guy. Oh, you're turning too. Good for you. So we're on Western, and we are heading toward uh, another red light, which, as you know, red means stop. Uh, see how it's a uh, red light there, and it stopped? This is the intersection of Hollywood and Western. That might sound familiar to some of you, because in the episode Green, Yellow, Red, Green, Yellow, Red, this is the intersection where it took me, uh, what was it, 11 minutes to make a left-hand turn? I will be honest, this is my first time here in a really long time. There was an adult bookstore right there where that shell of a building is, and now it's gone. Because they are fixing this entire neighborhood, as my wife used to say. This place is taking shape. This neighborhood is changing. But this is the red light where I had to sit through as it changed, and it took me like seven minutes. Honestly, I'm, I'm fried. I haven't slept. 
Uh, but it took me forever to make a left-hand turn here, and, uh, and I'm going to show you now how easily I can do it. Look, watch, through the red, we turn. This was in an outbook store uh, where I used to go get laundry change because I lived in this building here, which has now been renovated, but it, uh, it's this one right here, 5527. No, no, the one right next to it, actually, in the, the white. There's a guy I can't pass because the guy's right behind me. It's hard for me to tell. It's the brick building because we, it was all fucking... This is where I worked at, where I lived in. J.J. French from Twisted Sister was there. It's now the Gershwin. Uh, but it used to be the like the St. James place. Whoa, kids on scooters. Guys on scooters. Uh, that's not my fault, right? I don't know. You're not supposed to be on a scooter in the street. Of course, you're also not supposed to be holding a fucking camera with one light and one hand while you're filming and driving. Uh, so that's where I lived back there, where J.J. French lived from Twisted Sister, and then all the roach powder was along the, the fucking aisles, and I, I spent a New Year's Eve in there hearing gunshots, and then coming out and seeing all the fucking shell casings on the ground. That's this neighborhood right here, which has now changed. It's now a bunch of Thai restaurants and no more uh, adult bookstores, which is disappointing, quite frankly, because uh, I like my vice. Uh, we are over three minutes, and uh, I gotta, you know, I'm banking these. I don't even know, because Facebook won't let me post them so far, so I'm gonna have to go home and post stuff. It's going to take me a bit to get there. But, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else in Hollywood on the 40-year-old boy tour. I'm starving, too. i got to get something to eat. Should have gotten that grilled cheese back there. I should have parked. Should have gone to the Paranormal Activity uh, Extravaganza, but I did not. I didn't think of it. I was so shocked to see it, quite frankly, because I knew I was heading to the Sunset and Western thing. Uh, but for some reason, Paranormal Activity premiere, not on the 40-year-old boy tour. They don't have it all the time. All right. Uh, I, I'm going to try not to die, so I'm putting the camera away. All right, we are on Cahuenga Boulevard. Uh, in the valley, we have gotten off the freeway. There's Universal City. That's the Universal theme park right up that hill. You can go up there, and it's the City Walk and uh, the theme park where you can go take the Universal Studios tour, all that fun stuff. Um, <laughs> and I, I'm exhausted. I will not lie. I, I have petered out. This seemed like a really good idea in the beginning, and it was. I think it was. But doing it alone, I, I, I you know what? It's no fun being Mike and Lily. <laughs> I like being Mike. All right, see that Nissan dealership? Right there? Hey, that's where I bought my Altima and where I bought Karen's Altima Hybrid and where I bought this Murano that I'm driving right now as we drive past. And they're the ones who stole my glasses, or at least lost them in the uh, when I got my car repaired and then they had to give me a deal and I've told that story. So that's a stop here on the 40-year-old boy tour. And uh, I'm trying to think of what else we can do. Well, I know what we're gonna do later. You know what? Fuck it. It's California. You guys wanna go to In-N-Out? Let's go to in and out Let's go get a fucking double-double and some fries and a shake. I mean, I haven't done that in fucking forever. And there's the line, but we're going in to eat. We're going inside, I think, right? Aren't we? If there's parking? God damn it, I hope there's fucking parking. This thing will be, this will be a complete bust if there's not. Because, uh, the, look, this is how busy it is. You see that drive through Guys have to actually come out to the drive through and take the orders. You see all these cars, right? Uh, is there a parking? You know what? I just, I just drove over a parking spot, I think. Hold on. Let's back up. If there was not parking, I was going to be pissed, but I think, yeah, this is a spot. Fuck yeah, this is a spot. Let's back up. There's my camera. Tell me how I'm doing over there, folks. This is a guy. Oh, I drove right past the spot, too. Dudes, I got to put the camera down. That's probably what I got to do. That would be probably safe. Uh, whoa, hold on. Not that way. I don't want to drop the camera. Did I do that? What did I do? All right, we got to back up. And we got to smooth into the... God damn. You know, I always talk about how good a parking person I am. And look at this. Look how terrible I am right now trying to park because I overshot it, because I'm excited, because I haven't had a fucking hamburger in forever, I had one of these, when, uh, when Jill came to town, uh, for Wheel of Fortune week, because I told her, like, I said, look, if you're in California, you gotta go to In-N-Out, so we went, and we split a burger, we each ate like birds, because again, she's tiny, so we ate like fucking three bites each, and that was it, so we're gonna go in here now, and I'm gonna order a hamburger, and I'm gonna stare at it, and you guys, uh, you guys will stare at it, we'll all stare at it, that'll be fun, <laughs> I'll pretend like we're gonna eat, but we're really not gonna. But you gotta order it, right? If we're in California, you guys are in California, you gotta go to In N Out. So, uh, now my dilemma is do I go in here and bring you guys to the counter and let you watch me order? That would be stupid. It would be bad for you guys, bad for him. The only one who gets anything out of it is me because I get to fucking talk, I guess. I don't know. Uh, no, we're gonna walk in and I'm gonna order my food without you and then I'll sit down and show you the food. Uh, that seems to be a good plan, I think. This is not a good plan. None of this is a good plan. By the way, you see everybody sitting outside in their shirt sleeves and eating? It is 74 degrees right now in California. 74 degrees at fucking 630. It's gorgeous. Hi. How bad do I look? Uh, so, 
in and out Burger. If you're in Los Angeles, you have to be here. As you can see on the wall, it says quality you can taste. At least you could have until that grandmother got up and just leaped in front of the neon sign. Quality you can taste. And then there's uh, I mean, just fucking people out the ass. So I'm sitting outside, which I don't mind. Uh, but here's what I got for us, folks. I got right here. There's a double double. And that's got raw onion and grilled onion and no spread. And then, of course, fries. And then I got us. Uh, here, I'll show you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Neapolitan shake. I'm going to mix it all up. Because I, I don't know what you guys like. I don't know if you like vanilla. I don't know if you like strawberry. I don't know if you like chocolate. Um, sorry, I'm holding this the wrong way. Uh, I don't know what you guys like. So I, I, I mixed it all up for you. I got all three. I got the burger the way I like it. I got the shake the way you guys might like it. Um, and I am not going to film myself eating. But please know that uh, I'm going to eat some of it. I may throw it up. I don't think I'll film that either. Should I? Should I do that? Should I film myself eating it? Or should I film myself throwing it up? Or should I film both? I'm going to let you guys vote. Of course, I won't get to hear your votes for a long fucking time from now. Because Facebook is a cunt. Uh, that's language. I probably attracted a whole bunch of new listeners with this, this extravaganza, this new video thing that I've tried. And now I've driven them away by using that word yet again. Uh, all right, I'm going to eat because i got to get out of here because uh, i, I got to get home and do Facebook and stuff because Mark Zuckerberg only lets you use his service if you're sitting in your house. He wants to know where you are at all times. And I didn't order what he likes. I have no idea what he likes. You know, you know what actually he'd like? He'd like In-N-Out Burger. He doesn't want an In-N-Out Burger. He wants to purchase In-N-Out Burger. And then he'll flip it for something, I'm sure, because he's a master of the universe and I'm here eating a fucking cheeseburger with ghosts. Hey, you remember how uh, tired I said I was, and how I was beat, and I was gassed, and it's uh, it's hard being Mike, uh, hard enough being Mike, but also to be Lily is also rough, and blah, blah, all this other bullshit that I said earlier, because I was fucking half asleep, and like a zombie, uh, and I'm just, I, again, this bit seemed like a great bit, and I, I love it, I'm happy with it, it seemed to have gone well, everything seems to be good, I'm just happy that I had the day off, uh, because I was able to go ahead and do this, um, yeah, that, uh, that has fucking changed, because I need money, as I mentioned earlier, that bank thing fucked me, so, uh, I just got called into work. So Travis Barbecue is going to ride, and I have to head in now to uh, to go ahead and deliver food. I didn't think I was going to have to tonight. I thought I had it off. Hold on, my phone is jerking around. Uh, I, and it's funny, if you watch the first videos, you'll see last night, remember I worked 12 hours and I was burned out of my fucking mind, and I was like, good lord, I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh, and now I know exactly what's going to happen here. I'm going to drive to work and fucking drive around like a goddamn zombie. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to post everything. Because again, Facebook fucking won't do it on the phone because of some sort of, I guess because I have, because every time, here's the thing, when I, on Facebook, when I open Facebook, the app, and I try to go to the page, the 37, 6, whatever the fuck I called it, uh, every time I go there now, it tries to open all of the videos at once. So it won't post any videos because it's trying to open 26 videos. That was the last video I put up was 26. And that's this afternoon. Uh, and so I've been filming stuff and and now I don't know I don't know what the fuck to do I'm I'm trying to I so now I gotta go to work, which means tonight I'm gonna have to stay up super late and edit all the video or at least not edit it but at least put it up and uh, I, I I was joking about being me and Lily hey this fucking hold on the lens is all dirty hold on it's all blurry Jesus Christ that's not good I wasn't even looking so I'm driving let's do this did I fix it no still looks blurry do I gotta touch the screen yeah that sharpened it a little bit. Uh, hi, that's me. That's my hand. Uh, this is woeful. I mean, it's like, I, I thought the bit had legs and it did, but now I, the, the legs are going to fucking collapse underneath the bit because I got to put shit up tonight. I, I, this was supposed to be a Thursday thing. Now it's a goddamn Thursday, Friday thing, or at least a late Thursday thing. And uh, and late Thursday is not the way to go. Late Friday, certainly that's the way to go. Hold on, those sprinklers just went off. Did you see that? While I was driving, they fucking shot in the air. Who wants the fucking lawn this late? Late. Fucking seven. Who cares? Uh, but yeah, so I gotta go in and fucking film, uh, or not film, fucking work. Um, but at least it's not the beach. We're going to West Hollywood, which I was at earlier, uh, driving around. It's so fun. And that's the thing is, I was in Hollywood, and then I came back to head home and put the videos up, and then I got called in. So now we gotta head back. Uh, and I gotta go deliver fucking food, which is fine, I guess. But, you know, could this end any other way, really, when you think about it? It had, it had to end in, in such a way where I'd be delivering food. Um, you had to go ahead and do a ride-along, because in the opening, what the fuck, I, I had just finished delivering food, so why not go with me as I, oh, three minutes! Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I can't, right, I can't deliver food with you guys, that doesn't make any sense. 
because uh, that's all I need is to lose the gig, you know, fucking show up and, and uh, although it would be funny if I was able to take you guys to fucking, uh, to deliver food, how great would that be? But I can't film everybody. What if I could just film, like, one person? I can't fucking do that. But would I have to get the permission? I guess, guess again, you know what? It's fucking Los Angeles. God knows if I, if someone opens the door and I'm filming them, and then I need a permit to film them, like, and it turns out to be some county commissioner, he's like, dude, do you have a permit to film? And I'll be like, dude, I'm iPhone fucking Spielberg. What the fuck do I care? And then, uh, he calls the police, and then I get fucking rousted. And then we got a rang a dang which is not fun for anybody. <laughs> Look, I have had a brouhaha. I've had a dust-up. I, and I don't mind a scrap. But I tell you what, sometimes you get into a rang a dang and there's trouble. Trouble! That was one of my favorite ids when fucking Max did that one. Just a picture. I'm in a court. Did I go the wrong fucking way? Dudes, I'm trying to concentrate. You saw earlier. Uh, oh, you know, did you see that TV? Let's do a spin around. Hold on. <laughs> Hang tight. We're going to spin around in the court. Because I saw a TV. Watch the lights. You see that TV? Dude, I have a TV like that. And I'm trying to get rid of it. And I thought about putting it on Craigslist for like 20 bucks. But everybody wants flat screens. Somebody wants the big fucking crazy beach ball television. Because that, that thing looks like a, a fucking hop along. What were those things called? When you sat on it and you bounced around, you fucking held onto the thing. That was fun for everybody. Getting your balls smashed by a fucking dodgeball as you jumped around and bounced on it. God damn it. All right, we did. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to spin around again. <laughs> they called me and fucked them. I'm going to be late. God damn it. If they ask why, I'm going to show them this video. You know why? Because they can look at this, man. This is why I'm fucking late. I was doing fucking donuts in a goddamn court looking at a thrown away TV. Jesus Christ. Folks, uh, oh, hold on, Christmas lights. All right, I'm done spinning. I got to get the fucking work. Um, so thank you for participating in this experiment. I did not know what it was going to be. I wasn't sure. I, I, I can tell you that it was really fucking hard, man. It was hard to be... Look, it's okay to be me. I like being me, but it was pretty hard to be fucking Lily at the same time. And now, I, you know, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go put video up at fucking 2 in the morning, just like Lily did does all the time. So I'm going to feel it. I'm totally going to feel it in the morning. Um, but the good news is, uh, after I do that, I will not have to fuck a clown. So that's fantastic news. <laughs> I gotta tell you, as much as it's gonna pain me to do the video and have to take that, at least I will not have to fuck a clown afterwards. Um, all right, I want to tell you guys, let me remind you guys about the Monday Night Tees. Every Monday night at the three clubs on Santa Monica and Vine, I told you about it earlier. I don't know, I was there last week, and it was totally fun. I had a good time on the uh, New Year's show, and, uh, this week, I, I, that's where I met, I met a listener, actually, at this, uh, the New Year's show. Uh, I met a guy named Les. He's a listener of the show, and uh, it, it was good to see Les. I enjoyed him. Uh, he was a nice man, but here's the thing. Les is, Les is my age, right? I'm 46, and Les is 49. But sometimes when you're 46, uh, you can act like you're four. And sometimes when you're 49, you can act like you're every minute of 49. And I liked Les a lot. He was a great guy. But, dude, that dude was 49. He was white with a tucked-in shirt and just fucking there to have a good time. And it was just, it was interesting just because I'm, I'm a dumb fuck. So I'm talking to Les, and I'm like, dude, I'm a, I'm a fucking screwball, and Les is just a normal dude. And he was nice and cool, but I just, I all of a sudden felt like such a fucking child next to Les, because he was interesting and smart and funny, and I'm just like, duh, I'm a moron. And he was older. But here's the worst thing that happened. We're at the tees, right, and the music's playing. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm, I just can't sit still in my own skin. I'm bopping. And, uh, and all of a sudden I look and sitting right, I mean, like next to me, right next to me, Les is dancing. And I mean, he is dancing the way a 49 year old white guy would dance. And I, and I finally, I just stop and go, no, Les, we are not dancing. Stop. We're not dancing. Like I actually yelled at him, like, cause I like lost my temper, but not really lose my temper. But it was just, I was so shocked cause I can, you know, I can kind of dance. And then I look and Les is next to me and he's, he looks like Burl Ives trying to shuffle. And I'm like, oh, stop it, Les. Uh, and it happened twice. Like, ten minutes later, he's doing the same thing. I'm like, Les, we are not dancing, man. Fucking cut it out. Throttle down. Think of something else besides this music that you obviously have no rhythm for. Um, but the Monday Night Tees, everyone tonight, go to uh, Monday Night Tees, facebook.com slash Monday Night Tees. Remember that uh, David Hernandez is all of the artwork for this show. David Hernandez is a uh, the master, a, and uh, yeah, you'll, you know, you'll see all of his artwork later. But uh, he is the guy. If you go to artbydmh.com, you can go ahead and check out all of his stuff at his website. And, uh, and then also you can go to facebook.com slash David Mex Hernandez and be his friend. Go to facebook.com slash Lily Von Stupp and be Lily's friend. And follow her at twitter.com slash Lily Von Stupp, twitter.com slash MNTs, and twitter.com slash HollywoodBQFest. And, of course, you guys can always get me at Mike at MikeSchmidtComedy.com. You can be my friend at facebook.com slash the 40-year-old boy. And you can follow me at twitter at twitter.com slash the 40-year-old boy. And uh, go to the MikeSchmidtComedy.com 
website and go to the Joe Business page. We've got Schmitty Comes Alive. We've got The Big Angry. We've got artwork. We've got all sorts of stuff, as you know. So go ahead and check it out. I would appreciate it. And uh, and I got to thank you, man, for hanging in there for this experiment. It was it was fun. It was different. And I am beat. My voice is fucking ruined. Uh, and I don't I don't know when I'll get these up, but these will see the light of day. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot of thank yous. <laughs> Dry now.
No, you get the picture. It's funny. It's like, I, I don't... I don't mind working. I mean, I have to. You have to fucking work. That's the whole point. But I'm gassed, and I'm fucking beat from running around today, and the fucking... But I can't turn down money. I mean, if they call you in, you gotta fucking go in. But then you come here, and it's like a fucking rich neighborhood, and, and it's just... I mean, you see Christmas, that just fucking punches you in the heart. I mean, it doesn't mean to, you know, it's just these, you know, people, this is beautiful. I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. You look around at the houses and, although I, I gotta be honest, fucking, what is it, January 9th? Take your fucking Christmas decorations down. It seems ridiculous. Um, but they are, I mean, they're beautiful. But it also fucking, I mean, I'm fucking running barbecue in the middle of the fucking night uh, to rich people. And I mean, I, it's not that I'm, I don't give a fuck if you're rich. <sighs> It's just, you know, first Christmas alone in 20 years, and uh, fucking crazy. But, but we've got, I mean, fuck, I need money. So, uh, so but, the, but I will tell you this, I'm going, to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to bring you on this delivery. And I hope they fucking deal with it, because I'm not going to turn this into a thing. I'm just going to film, I'm going to talk. I'll be nice, I'll be professional. Uh, but at the same fucking time, oh, fuck, to get the tree there. All right, I'm a little weirded out about this, i got to be honest. But fuck it, right? I mean, what the fuck? If I, if I get fired, who cares? It's this, I mean, well, no, I can't. I do care. That's why I came in tonight. Fuck, I need money. But uh, these people understand, right? I'll, I won't tell them it's a bit. Maybe they don't even know that I'm filming. I'll just fucking hold the thing. I just gotta get a fucking signature and get out of here. That's fine. All right, fuck. Fucking ribs. <laughs> all right, now look, be, be cool, all right? You guys be cool. I'll be cool. As long as we're cool, we're cool. But uh, I'll get a signature and get out of here. All right. I do fucking weird cop knocks all the time. <sighs> all right. But, uh, answer the fucking door. Don't make me call you. Because if, if I have to call them, I have to fucking turn the phone off and stop filming. They've ruined the whole fucking bit. Hello. It's fucking crazy. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mike. Dude. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even, uh... It's Michael Schmidt! I didn't even notice the... Holy shit, dude. Hi. Oh. Hey, man. Uh, okay, let's do this. That's, uh, yeah. God damn it! Come on, man! I, well, I did, what do you want me to do? You fucking called! Yes, I, we, we were playing cards. All right, All right. um... I, this, uh, well, you got... I mean, I it's a... Know. It's a credit card. You got, know, yeah. you got your credit card? Yeah, I got a credit card. It's, it's, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have to play well, no, the credit card. Well, no, the card has got a match. All right, here you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know it's me. Yeah, well, I didn't know it was you. I mean, it's under Danny's name. What the fuck? I didn't see that. I just saw Danielle. All right. We're, uh, yeah, she's not on the night. Is it her card or your card? It's going to be my card, but I don't, I don't know why it's under her name. It's, I guess, because is that our name in the account, maybe? Yeah, that's it's in the computer. Over at the, like, it's uh, 5169. <laughs> Up top, I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, Greg, you rub that in. Fine. All right. Uh, fuck, how am I going to do this? i got to do a rub. Can you hold this? What is, I don't know. What does that mean? Just hold this. What do I do? You hold that and uh, do what you got to do. I do what I got to do. Why am I the bad guy what here? How am I the, oh, I look at the bad guy? It's just I got to fucking get a What? What? Hey. I, I probably should get... Yeah, what do you want? What am I doing with I this? Just Why is this happening? It's, nothing's happening. It's fine. I just... I had to you got to document every transaction. Just right, fucking do, sign do it. Do I, uh... Put the, Can you sign it? Do I put, I'll sign it. Yes, yes. yes. I this is fucking weird enough. What's, what's weird is that you're fucking taping this. Maybe you should have turned it off when he, when he saw that it was me. And then do I... Do I put the tip on here? Or is it... In, you... Is it already included? What am I... I didn't... You, it's okay. not included. Do I buy you tip lunch is, one day? Tip is How not do included. I tip you? Tip is not included. Do they give you money for miles? How does it work? I don't get any mileage. I get a flat fee, you and then I collect fee. tips. I, I work on tips, You Jim. do work on tips. I do. So if I... I'm, and I'm not going to stiff you, you know. But you don't get... Do you get any miles? No. I deliver food, I get a flat hourly rate, and I make the tips that people give me. So a tip would be nice. We're playing cards. Eh? I understand you're playing cards. I just need you a tip. You know you were invited. I don't want any... I don't want, I don't want an email tomorrow 
saying, hey, dude, you know, you guys are playing cards and I was inviting you. You know you were inviting, you said you couldn't come. I have worked three doubles in a row. I need money, Jim. I'm I in a position I, where I, I need I cash. Know what that lingo is. Doubles means you have to work in the morning and in the evening. Some of us have to work two shifts. I worked several jobs. That wasn't fair of you. Work is a strong word. Sign this fucking receipt. That was very... I wanted to know that you were invited to play cards. I know I was. You I know I was. You said you couldn't make it. Well, I had to do uh, this video thing. I didn't know. I'm sorry. And I, I didn't know I was okay, going to get called into work thing. tonight. That's why you bailed on cards to do this video thing. Well, I didn't know I was going to get called into work tonight. I was I, supposed to come. I thought you were Dr. Doubles. <laughs> <laughs> It got weird. I apologize that it got weird. But see, that's why we're always present. We laugh at shit like that. Uh, this is great. I can't wait to hear what happens when I leave. Uh, well, well, I'm probably going to lose more money. I know I'm losing money here. And what was it? It's something... Six, uh, hey, Jimmy, can you tip that asshole and get back here and play cards? It's, it's Pat, Schmidt. it's... Hi. Oh. It's Mike. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's why you made your joke? Uh, okay, so... Uh, all right, I'm going to put the tip right on here. Probably should add that up. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that. I can do the math back at the, at the start. All right. Uh, thanks, man. So, uh, okay. <laughs> you, you Dr. Tongue? <laughs> a lot of doctoring going on tonight. What? Remember Dr. Tongue from SCT? I do. <laughs> I'm like trying to Here's your bag. <laughs> uh, all right, listen. Awkward, no question about that. It was strange. We thank you for coming. Our pleasure, of course, you know that. All right. I wish you a lot of luck. I would try to get Miles. All right. Good. Well, maybe you call them. You tell them this wasn't a bad delivery. No, Tell him what? It wasn't bad I, that I did my job. How many calls come in like that? Is there anybody calls there? This is the guy that just came. It was a really nice delivery. Maybe a hard-hitting celebrity calls, and it changes the game. Let me know if you delivered a hard-hitting celebrity. I'll let you know. All right. All right. Thanks for the food, now, man. Thank you, and thanks for the invite. It sounded passive-aggressive. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy right. New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, man. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Take care. That was fucking weird.